Hello there. We are back for part four of our House Bloomfield series. We're back in Westeros on a Saturday of all days as well. In the last stream, we managed to take over the High Lordship of Darstone over here, I think it's called. Yes, we have. Uh, we also have the High Lordship of Black Sound and the High Lordship of Brightwater. Today, I think we're going to go north. Let's try and make take some more duchies. And one day, we might even be able to take on the Lord Paramountcy of the Reach. For Tyrells themselves, I want more power. I want to become a Lord Paramount. Hi, Sibelos. Sibelius, how are you doing? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, before we do any of that, though, we actually have a grand wedding. My betrothed has finally come of age. Uh, she is a bastard from House Frey. But, I mean, once, you know, 50 years ago, my dynasty, my bloodline wasn't even of nobility. So, marrying a bastard is well within uh, reason. Let's go ahead and organize the grand wedding for Jacob. A grandiose celebration of the union of a couple. However, this is not just a wedding ceremony. It is a public show of influence and a show social event where the nobility gather to practice the arts of diplomacy, seduction and murder. Or to share a drink with friends. Hello, good morning from across the pond. How you doing, Josh? Uh, John? Josh? <laughs> How you doing, John? Nice to see you. Uh, so let's see, what do we get from this? We get married, of course, of course. Uh, we get prestige, we gain guest opinion, courtly vassal opinion. We could get the eager reveler traits. We lose stress. Uh, and we can get a lot more buffs there. Right, let's go ahead and plan the grand wedding. We have 676 gold, so I'm going to spare no expense. We need to show the world that we have money. Uh, it's going to be a grand wedding. A wedding is meant to be a magnificent celebration of the union of two spouses, but also of two families. A promised grand wedding must be organized before the promise expires, or you will incur into penalties. Okay, yeah, we're doing that now. Don't worry. Also, let me just check my OBS. Everything is working correctly. Nicely, nicely. Right. Let's go ahead and confirm this. Um, Brightwater would be good because it's my capital. Yeah, I think we're going to do Brightwater. It makes the most sense, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't need any companions here. So my intent, we could do recreation matchmaking. Find a good match for the selected character and sell up a betrothal. We could do diplomacy I've, uh, instead. Hmm, diplomacy. Who should we do diplomacy with? Stannis. What a man, what a man indeed. Yeah, let's go ahead and do diplomacy with Stannis. That sounds amazing. We're going to try and impress him. The, the king himself is coming to our wedding. Very nice. Okay, we got 59 guests. My mother, oh no, no, you're not my mother. You're my half-sister. My mother died, didn't she? Uh, the leader of House Frey there, the, the crossing is coming. I think that's Elard's son, possibly, or Osbert's son. But other than that, Leo, my uncle, is coming as well. There's not many big names, but Stannis is coming. Stannis is more than enough guest character categories. Okay, let's close this. Uh, activity options. So, acrobats and musicians. This gives us more prestige. Sure, let's max it out. Uh, and then for the, the feast, we're going to have a gargantuan meal. Yes, yes, yes. And then what's this? Garlands and torches. Let's max that out as well. Uh, silver and gold. Only the best. For my wife to be. 385 gold. Let's go ahead and start the grand wedding. We gained the eager reveler trait as well. Okay, so that gives us plus one intrigue, more prestige, courtly vassal opinion, and opinion of eager reveler characters. Very nice. Let us begin our journey today. My glory is widely known already. Wow. 20 gold per month too. Insane. We are now illustrious. Number of captains, plus two. Very nice, very nice. Do we have interesting stuff here? Uh, Claw Isle? Okay, we're not going to do that. We're at our wedding. My spy master has come to me with grave news, but we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my courtier, Mina. Oh, dear. <laughs> the murder plans. The murder plans are still on the way. There's no rest, rest for the wicked. So how long until this starts? Three months. Ah, my wife has to travel here from the crossing. That's a long way to go, isn't it? Yeah, she's got to come from all the way up here. Wow. That is a, a long journey indeed. Right, let's wait for her to arrive then. Can she be late to her own wedding? That would be interesting. It always feels amazing when you have been planning for something for so long and spent so much money on it. And then it's finally there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling. And servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I am pacing around in excitement and nervousness for my future spouse, Floris. Appears with radiant in her finest attire. We are ready to begin. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We are going to marry. 
our wife finally. First time being able to join one of his streams. I really enjoy House Bloomford. Ah, welcome to the stream, uh, EKA98. How are you doing? How are you doing? Nice to see you here. Uh, as if organizing a wedding worthy of my family's stature weren't stressful enough, I also have to deal with Floris's relatives. Her brother, Adrian, arrived right, uh, bright and early today and has been following me around ever since, complaining about this or that non-stop. As I feel a splitting headache growing behind my eyes, he continues blabbering undeterred. Are those mimes? Where are those servants going with those light fires? And why is that wooden crate growling? This is going to be a disaster. Ah, come on. I, I spared no expense for this wedding. No expense. Also, guys, the mod did update, so hopefully we don't run into any issues. I've updated to the newest version, uh, and we're going to continue the save. Uh, I'm sure we can find some common ground. Let's try it. I must try and find some common ground with the fray. No, we didn't convince him. We've gained stress. He doesn't like me. First time seeing you with your camera on. We might be brothers from different mothers. <laughs> you also rocked the bold facial hair look. Man. Oh, yeah, I, I went bold like a year ago. Uh, funnily enough, I've been growing this for a year. I cannot grow facial hair, man. I wish I could. I wish I could. It's depressing. <laughs> if I'm ever rich, maybe that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a hair transplant so I can have a nice beard. Uh, everyone is excited and amazed by the magnificence of the wedding venue. Everyone but Lord Leo, my uncle. Ah, why, 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 why? Since his arrival, Leo has been prowling, searching for any pretext to complain. Are you wearing makeup? Those colourful veils are sinful. What's with all the unchaste mingling? Is this all a show of luxury and lust? What? I'm not ashamed of myself. Um, Guards, accompany this killjoy to the door. Uncle, get out of here. If you're going to ruin my wedding, you can get out of here. Go, go away, go away. <laughs> I pity you, Lee, Shalana tells me what married life is like. Cold bed and a mistrustful wife. A shackle on your joys, like me and Quentin, she grumbles. Is that Quentin as in Osbert's son? No, it's not. It's a different Quentin. Uh, is that what my marriage to Floris would be like? No, I think, I think Floris is perfect for me. I handpicked her myself. There we go, look. We're, we're confident Floris will suit you. We gain confident groom. Uh, stress gain is reduced and we and we lose more stress. Very nice. And we've also unlocked a uh, Marshall perk. Let's get Captain Effectiveness and Accolade Glory gain. I like that one a lot. Uh, and back to the wedding we go. Back to the wedding. I had to have a surgery where they cut my scope off and had to have my face. Sanded with real sandpaper. Fun time. Oh, that sounds brutal. Hopefully everything's fine now. Um, yeah, I chose to go bold. It's uh, I've never been a fan of the hair. I felt like I, maybe I was a bit too young to be bold. But I went for it anyway, you know. I went for it anyway. It's easy. You know, when you wash, it's 10 seconds to dry your head. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, good morning from Ohio. Hi, David. How are you doing? How are you doing? Nice to see you. The preparations. You're just in time for the wedding. The preparations and rituals of a wedding ceremony are many. In a lull in between them, I hear some snickering and scoffing coming from a group of Floris's relatives. When they see that they got my attention, Lord Mark starts addressing me directly. It's truly a shame we couldn't find anyone better for fo poor Floris. <laughs> but such is life. Attention, who is... Wait, what? <laughs> I will prove you all wrong. I will prove you all wrong. Mark likes me more now. Nah, there we go. There we go. See, that's what it's about. And we even became friends. We are now friends with the phrase. Amazing. Amazing. A man arrived at my court today claiming to be an artist. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm getting married. I don't have time for artists. My head throbs with the noise of clattering furniture and chattering guests. The strain must show because my half-sister, Lady Tanya, takes my arm and steers me into the next room. Lady Tanya, eh? You're... Are you the one that took over Yonwood? Yes, you are. Okay, okay. Um, the sound of preparation dies away. We speak of small things. Time passed. People have known not a word about the wedding. Then we run out of words and force silent. We can enjoy a quiet moment together. Um, or I can grow closer to forming a friendship. Tell Lady Tanya how much it means to have them here. Yeah, sure. I mean, we need friends. We need allies. We have allies, but we don't have many friends. So let's try and make a few friends whilst we're, we're getting married here. Oh, it's the man, Stannis himself. I am glad I told my servants early uh, to keep an eye out for King Stannis' arrival because in the midst of the wedding preparations, I would have missed it otherwise. Instead, I am proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard wearing my fanciest clothes and surrounded by a guard of honour when Stannis makes his entrance. I am extremely pleased to welcome you, King Stannis. I am certain you will find my hospitality most agreeable and be impressed by all the wonders my realm has to offer. He is here. I heard that the great Stannis and my father dueled in tournaments many times. They faced each other many times. 
There was a great amount of respect between the two. Hopefully, Stannis can respect me just as much. Uh, what should we do here? 69% chance. Um, would you like to see the venue's preparation, Stannis? He was impressed. And I lose stress because of that. We've gained his respect. Greetings. Also, how are you? Welcome, Krypton, uh, Cryptic Knight. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm doing okay. Nice to see you in the stream. Yeah, the throat's still a little bit sore. Uh, <laughs> but it's well enough to stream. Weddings are just politics. I steal myself as I watch my future wife to join me. Just politics, I repeat to myself. How bad can it be? But nothing has prepared me for the moment I finally see Floris for the first time. No portrait or description could do justice to the gentle look on her face. No poet has ever sung a beauty such as hers. Time hangs still when our eyes meet and everyone else seems to disappear. Then she smiles at me and I know everything would be alright. Could it be you I've been waiting for all this time? She becomes my soulmate. I didn't know that was possible from a wedding. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, the marriage is off to a great start. The ceremony went on a blur. I can barely remember all the steps, rituals, and blessings I went through. And now it's time for our vows. The formal consent, the actual seal on the marriage. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with Flores? I can say I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do, I do, I do, I do. So what do we get here? I marry her, of course. We gain piety. We get... Ruler's Grand Wedding for 10 years. Development growth 20%? Wow. And we get Renown. Oh, that's so good. Of course I want to marry her. She's my soulmate already. I do, Floris. Our relationship, our marriage will be filled with love. As the ceremony concludes and we move to the banquet venue, I secretly smile to myself, picturing the joys to come from a married life with Floris. Not everyone can be so lucky to marry such a likeable person. I wish everyone to share my happiness. And let's all tuck in. It's time for the feast. Is there a bedding ceremony in the Game of Thrones mod? I wonder. That would be kind of cool. Right, let's uh, go ahead and enjoy the feast. As the banquet goes on, I find myself thinking of it uh, a bit underwhelming. No impressive silk or tapestries. The finest gold has no place here. Neither do the greatest gems. As I look through the window, I find the night sky somehow inspiring. Out there exists the white game. Freely they roam our woods, and among their trees they hide. Hunting one, a legendary deed. Maybe I could simply paint one of our lynx white. How else can I honor my own wedding? Once I must hurry, tell my servants to start at once. So I pay 80 gold? To paint a lynx? Ah. Why not? Why not? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try and put on a show. Hopefully no one sees through my trickery. Uh, I notice that Grand Wedding's a good place to make friends. Seems like it. Uh, I mean, we made a friend already with the phrase, which is nice. We, we made a soulmate with our wife. As the lynx enters the hall, its pale fur shines brightly under the moonlight. And almost... Phosphorescent favor and unnatural glow. The deception is almost perfect, a marvel. Guests stand in awe and quickly approach the animal, not daring to touch it, for its nature is sacred. However, I spot Hobber among the crowd, rolling his eyes. Can't you tell it's just paint? Lord Jacob must have taken us all for fools. Oh, Hobber, why did you have to go and ruin everything? Ah. Oh, Hobber, Hobber, Hobber. Mm, no point keeping the illusion anymore. How dare you doubt me on the day of my feast? No, no, let's... We'll admit it. It was all a bit of entertainment. It was all a bit of entertainment. We'll, we'll expose it. Everyone had a bit of fun. Uh, sight, taste, touch, smell, and even sound. No human sense is left untouched by the scale and grandeur of the evening's food. A fabulous melee of art and fair. Near my seat, both Lord Mark and Lord Bar share their opinions about the spread. Mmm, Lord Mark. <laughs> now this is how you throw a feast. My, it is certainly bustling. I barely get a chance to taste each dish. A slower pace wouldn't go amiss. Hey, are you trying to rhyme intentionally there? I see what you're trying to do, Bath. Trying to show off. Oh, Bath, is that as in my, my champion? Oh, no, my vassal and friend. I think he used to be my knight once upon a time, though. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I could just nod along without paying attention. Yeah, sure. I don't care what they say. A lot of gold has been spent on this. I will enjoy it. The hall is awash with a... Right, riotous parade of acting troops, dancing musicians, and exotic charlatans. Delighting quests on moss. Near my seat, both Master Renly and Lord Algamore share their opinions on the display. Do a flip! <laughs> Shouts Renly at a carveting tumbler. By the mother, I love a good party. Too many strange faces, too many bizarre tools, Algamore curses. Like that one, is that a fake sword being swallowed? Or are they a lurking assassin? 
I'm just going to enjoy the entertainment. I don't care what everyone else says. So it seems like a great evening for House Bloomfield. It's a lot of fun so far. Um, I think we might be done with the feast, you know. What kind of food of this? So rich in flavor. Never before have I seen or tasted such an incredible exotic treat. Oh, and these wonderfully strange lavish sweets. This feast has some incredible dishes I've never seen before. And doubt I will again. I must ask for the sauce. Delightful. Again, life reaffirmed for five years. Medium health boost. Oh, very nice. And we lose stress. Look at that. Uh, oh, there is a wedding night. Okay, but they don't call it a bedding ceremony. Now, after having spoken over dinner for a while, Quentin leans over to tell me that he finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am about so many different things. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Quentin. I am a very knowledgeable man. Right, something has popped up here. Send proposal. Uh, you want me to educate your son? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I'm at my wedding though, man. You didn't even show up. The disrespect from the Tyrells. The disrespect, I tell you. Can you remember Board showed up to my wedding and now he's demanding I educate his son? Oh dear. After observing King Stannis from afar, I quickly come to the conclusion that I cannot just approach him and start talking about the weather. <laughs> All the latest medical treaties of war, pray that it becomes a, a delight. That just reminded me of a meme. I don't know if you guys are into football, but have you seen the uh, the Neymar meme with uh, Rashford? <laughs> Uh, where they talk about the weather, it's funny. Uh, I soon spot my friend, Lord Mark, across the room, known to be Stannis' friend, happily chugging down goblets of wine. Tell me where does Stannis' interests lie, I ask attentively. Haha, <laughs> under someone's waist, I can tell you that. Oh, okay, okay, I know what he's into. Hmm. Um, let's use this insight at once. We can grow closer to Stannis. With my newly acquired knowledge, I artfully approach King Stannis, who en who's enjoying the feast, and some others company at a different table, where a rich cloth is laid. May we have a small word, my king, I ask. I wouldn't want to interrupt your parliament, of course. King Stannis raises his eyebrows, a hint of curiosity in his eyes. Well, of course. What matters? Bring to me, my noble Jacob. Ah. So, I can get an alliance with King Stannis. What? Oh, wow. That would be amazing. Although, he wouldn't be able to join any of my wars. Wait, this could also give me an alliance? Can they all give me an alliance? Oh, they can. So I have to pick the one that I think will suit the most. Okay. Uh, do you want to sneak out and find something? Guess. Hmm. Let's see. Do you want to sneak out and find some fine guests? Shall we go to a secret brothel, Stannis? I mean, I, my wife is my soulmate, but I need an alliance with Stannis. I enter an... We have an alliance with, the, with Stannis. What? Oh, wow. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yes! Oh, this is amazing. Sounds like a British thing to ask about the weather. It, it, very, it is, isn't it? It's, it's just a normal small talk thing here. The weather's bloody cold at the moment in the UK, by the way. It was minus 10 degrees last night, which is crazy. Actually, speaking of weather, I really did not notice the transition between summer and winter this year, because I just haven't been out. <laughs> uh, and I looked at my phone the other night, and it was like minus 4, minus 5, and I was like, wow, okay, that's suddenly cold. Uh, the feast has started winding down with everyone seated in time, but the day is not over for Floris and me. A procession of guests leads us to our bedchamber for the legitimacy of a wedding pins on it being consummated. It is time for the bedding ceremony. Let us begin. Let us begin. Uh, your son's arrived. Yeah, I don't care about that. I I'm in the middle of bedding my wife, okay? <laughs> Get out of here, child. Get out of here. Uh, the fire in the grate has started to wither. And I stare at its flames in silence. The light, its warmth. Lady Floris is searching for something in her wooden chest, and I take my eyes off the flames to look at her. Jacob, she says, offering a small package wrapped in silk. I have saved this since I heard of our betrothal, and I now offer you this as a token of my love. What does she give me? A marriage prayer brute. Oh. A bonus to seduce schemes. I will become an owner. Your marriage to Lady Floris is set to produce many offspring. Oh, wow. To be incredibly fertile. <laughs> oh, oh, lucky rabbit's paw. Okay, I give her the lucky rabbit's paw. Actually, I have something for you too. Wait, didn't my father give me the lucky rabbit's paw? I think so. In a hunt, yes. I have something for you too, my dear Floris. We will have many children together. We will grow our great dynasty. I'm going to give her... Oh, no. I, I lost this, but I gave her this. Okay, okay. 
Makes sense. Uh, in my attempt to align Evelyn to my interests, I have found an opportunity. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, I'm a little busy, busy bidding my wife. 50 Fahrenheit here? Oh, I have no idea what Fahrenheit is. <laughs> You're going to have to convert that to Celsius for me. Uh, I wish it would stay this temperature for the winter. Sadly, it won't last. I, I do very much prefer the winter to the to the summer though i have like a little electric heater right next to me and it heats up this room like five minutes turn it off done the summer it's impossible to cool down the sun drains me uh yeah here in pl frost and snow are so sudden but a lot of leaves were still greenish actually let me look out the window how are the trees looking in the field i can't see them because there's a lot of fog today it's that's crazy actually the amount of fog considering it's 3 p.m in the afternoon like about 100 meters i would say maybe less than that actually i have like a line of trees because there's a field outside of my window and i can't even see them uh, the fog is insane today um 10 celsius oh that that's okay that's qu yeah that's quite warm my ideal temperature is probably around 16 degrees in the middle of the day i do like colder at night i find it easier to sleep anyway <laughs> as the banquet reached its climax floris's growing anxiety over the imminent bedding ceremony was clear my new wife turns to me as the procession sets off our, to our chambers, pleading, Please, can't we do something about this? Over the hollering and drummering. We should have the room to ourselves. I gain barred bedding for five years. I lose a little diplomacy, but she gains opinion of me. Um, we could do it in front of everyone, or don't be silly, it's tradition. No, I, I will give my wife what she wants. Let us have the room to ourselves. I wish to make love in peace. When I saw 50 Fahrenheit at first, I was sitting there thinking that is boiling. <laughs> and then you realize, yeah, the, the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit is insane. <laughs> Hobber Red Wine is nicknamed Slobber in the books. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, when finally the last guest leaves, I look around at the deserted venue, the food leftovers, the spilled tea on the floor, the echoes of people's laughter still lingering in the air. And I feel satisfied. On an amazing day, I did a very good job at organizing it. I did indeed. I did indeed. Thank you all for coming. I have married my wife. I have gained 1,200 prestige. Wow. We have a lot of prestige already. Um, I gained magnificent host. So we get more prestige. <laughs> more renown. Uh, diplomacy, lifestyle experience. I just drew a life, uh, life step. We got 80 gold. We lost a lot of stress. We get even more prestige and renown. Holy crap. That's a lot of prestige buffs at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, look at all the percentage buffs. Amazing. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Let us finish the grand wedding. And hopefully soon my wife will bear me a child. She's not pregnant yet. Not pregnant yet. Also, the music timing was bloody perfect there. Okay, so we got a... We have a tawny sword. I might save that to give to my son. We don't have one yet, of course. Uh, and I also have... A marriage prayer brutes. Piety and spouse opinion. Um, oh, we have even more fertility items here. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep this as well. Because my wife Oh, I have another sword. Wow, we have a lot of stuff. I can't destroy these either. No, I can destroy these ones. In vanilla you can't though. Or is it blue ones you can't destroy? It's blue ones. Uh, this gives four prowess. I'm gonna destroy this one. It's gone. It's gone. 80 gold. Right. Okie dokie. Shall we get on with today's episode? Then we're married. Uh, we have a little bit of gold. Let's see. The Claw Isle. That's the Shield Island. So it's not this one. We should probably start fabricating. Are we already fabricating? We're not. Uh, hopefully we can get a claim on the Duchy of Darkdale. The High Lordship here. That would be very nice. 20 gold, eh? If we go over to Brightwater, what are we going to buy here? We can upgrade the workshops. Let's go ahead and do that. That's going to improve our siege equipment. How's the men-at-arms doing? We can get more men-at-arms as well. Which I might do. I might do this. So we've got our unique honey wine quirrels here. They are archers. They are countered by heavy cavalry. So they are countered by spearmen. These are also countered by spearmen. So I think next we might get some spearmen. If we have any. We have pikemen. 75 gold each. Okay, we'll get some pikemen. Uh, that's the plan for today. Let's unpause. Free time speed. I can catch up on chat a little bit now as well. We got 15 Celsius in the house now. See, to me, that's like perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, I do love it slightly cooler. Uh, it's minus 1C for me, so I am freezing. Outside right now. Let me quickly check the weather. Let's see. Uh, right now, it's 0 degrees here. Um... Oh, I can't show you. If I show you here, 
it's zero degrees. Look at that. There we go. I just exposed where I lived as well. That's fine. <laughs> and my wife is pregnant already. That did not take long at all. That did not take long at all. Amazing. Uh, I wish us Americans used the metric system instead of a period. Oh, it gets... You should come to the UK. <laughs> we use a mixture of things. I mean, cars are in miles per hour, and yet when it's cooking, we use milliliters for water, but then sometimes we use ounces. We measure our weight in stone. Milk is weighed in pints. Uh, the UK just does a whole mixture of things. There, there's a meme somewhere with a chart. I'll have to find it. Um, I wonder how many kids Floss and Jacob will have. Imagine if we have like 10 kids. I think we might have more than 10 kids, you know. We have so many fertility bonuses. To the contemptuous Jacob! I have heard some disturbing news from Lord Willem about your misdeeds. You may call yourself a worshipper of the seven, but your actions prove that you do not truly follow the path of the seven who are one. As I cannot permit your wicked behavior to hide behind the mask of the faith of the seven righteousness, I have no choice but to excommunicate you from your faith. May the seven who are one have mercy on your soul. Wait, what does that mean? Excommunicated? Oh, crap. I can get imprisoned and banished. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I can ask for a pardon. I wonder though. Ah, Stannis is too high up. Can I come? Guys, should we do it? The Great Sept has excommunicated us. We have been abandoned by the faith. Maybe the Lord of Light has a position for us. <laughs> oh, things are going to get chaotic. I think we should do it. What do you guys think? Oh, this could be fun. I mean, this we've been abandoned. We've been excommunicated. Why should we stay loyal to a faith that is not loyal to us? The Lord of Light does not hold such grudges. He will welcome me with open arms. Didn't we have press claim on Darkdale from the High Septon? Yeah, we don't have any press claims at the moment. I don't know what happened for that. I thought I did as well, but when I opened the game and checked, I don't have any press claims. It's very weird. It's very weird. I think it vanished. I see it for the third time. Is this even canon option in the book? I, I don't know. I don't know. I like the shirt. Big fan of Aelstorm as well. Ah, David. Nice one. Do you know what? What's your favorite Aelstorm song? song? Uh, mine might get me demonetized, but mine's fucked with an anchor. <laughs> And, and uh, I like Nancy, the tavern uh, wrench. Uh, wench. Uh, I like Seventh Rum of a Seventh Rum. Do you know, actually, I like all Aelstorm songs, honestly. They haven't made a bad song. They're bloody awesome to listen to. Uh, let's embrace the fire god. I only use grams and ounces for my medication. <laughs> uh, Lord of Light is fun, but no pilgrimages. Why should we do a pilgrimage? For a faith that does not respect us. They excommunicated us. I think we do it. I think we do it. Aren't the Westerlands also following the, the Lord of Light? The, the Lannisters are following the Lord of Light? Let's see. Um, they're following the Faith of the Seven. The Stormlands are following the Faith of the Seven. Okay. I mean, we could join the Westerlands. We can join the Reach. I mean, I, I will be the Reach soon. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right. How do I right click? There we go. Let us adopt the Faith. Twenty thousand piety. <laughs> oh, what? I thought it would be free. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, I wonder. Maybe Stannis can educate my son, and then that's how we convert. Possibly. Right. Let's uh, let us unpause. Is there no easier way for me to convert? I want to embrace. I want to embrace. You plan to go to university right after the wedding? Oh, I did. Uh, we're, we're a bit low on gold, though. I just spent it on buildings. Um, let's see, university visit. it. How expensive is it going to be if I max this out? Uh, only 300 gold. Okay, let's save up 300 gold and we'll go university. Thank you for reminding me. See, my, my mind goes so many places and I, I adapt so much. Uh, I forget my plans. Lord of Light is fun. Uh, you plan to go... Oh, I've read that. Hi, Caesar. 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 How are you doing? Nice to see you in the stream. Alright, let's speed things up a bit because there's not much happening now. Faction created against me. The Liberty Faction. I guess what I could do is ask for a pardon. He would accept. Let's ask for the pardon so at least we we can't be imprisoned, right? My dear kinsman, your plea is just, and I find myself swayed by your arguments. I hereby pardon you of any and all current crimes in the eyes of the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne. 
in perpetuity. Uh, you shall remain a free man. I think that's another reason why we should convert to the Lord of Light. Stannis is merciful. He showed me great respect. He respected my father. He's 74 and feeling fine. Wow. I think we should do it. But we're not going to get the piety, so it's going to have to be for my son, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. My aunt-in-law wants an alliance? Yeah, she's not going to say yes. Okay, there's nothing else up here, though. Uh, my master at arms, Malon, very hesitantly brings my guest, Matthew, to me. Lord Wyman has asked me to promote Matthew to the honour of commandership. But I believe that you might wish to have a say in the matter beforehand. Matthew. Oh, I've turned on the nameplates mod as well because <laughs> it's easier to see who is who. Wait, Malon. Matthew. I oh, know, Matthew. I, he's not very good, to be honest. Hmm... Yeah, my army is not a nursery. If you wish to train the boy, you shall train him yourself. I am a great fighter. 31 prowess. And I'm still learning. Ex Lord Desmond has been excommunicated now. Everyone's been excommunicated. What is he doing? The High Mouse. <laughs> what a brilliant name. What a brilliant name. And we have had a son. Lads. First one to give me a name and an education focus. <gasps> Should we go with Garth though? Is that a sign? It instantly named him Garth. Could he be the modern Garth? Garth Greenhand? I mean, Garth Bloomfield? I don't know. You guys decide. First name and education focus. Let's go. Um, now that you have an alliance with Stannis, join the Red Gold Cult, lol. <laughs> we'll try. Willis Dillis. <laughs> I'll take Willis or Dillis. Tyrion and Marshall. Okay, there we go. Uh, Tyrion and Marshall. Right. Tyrion Bloomfield. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Let's put you on Marshall. And to educate you, who should we have? Stannis, of course, Stannis. He is a great marshal. 35 marshal. Oh, boy. Will he Will he educate my son, though? Offer a ward? Is that what I want to do? Um, Tyrion, Stannis. He would accept. Let us convert the faith as well. We're going to the Lord of Light. I'm going to send him to Stannis. He will learn. From the mighty man. I'm not employing a wet nurse. Oh, Lyra Clinch. You're excellent. Let's go ahead and recruit you. Uh, do I still have a court tutor? I, I do not. What happened to my court tutor? Let's see. Uh, do I even need one? I don't even have one listed. Maester, caravan master, wet nurse. Courtsmith? Uh, do I not have court tutor in Game of Thrones? Lady in Waitings. We, we don't have court tutors. Is it because I'm not a king? Maybe, maybe. Let's see. Do we have anything other that's useful here? Court grandeur. Hmm. Scheme discovery chat. Keeper of the Cells sounds nice. Yeah, let's recruit you as Keeper of the Cells. We have so much income we can do this. Master at Arms. Diplomacy per level of fame. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, you're excellent. All of you are excellent at this. Let us see. Because you have 69 opinion... No, no, no. My wife's killing it. There we go. My wife and soulmate. A courtsmith? Sure. Let's get a courtsmith. Oh, we're getting all the positions now. <laughs> my income's going. Antiquarian. There we go. Let's make our artifacts better. You can be my, my antiquarian. Master of the horse. Captain effectiveness. Ooh. Lord Quentin, is that Osbert's son? It is, it is. You're going to be my master of the horse. Uh, we don't need a master of the hunt, I don't think. Control growth might be nice. Sworn shield has to present. Oh, some sworn shields would be nice. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's get some sworn shields as well. Well, we're playing it very safe. Uh, let's get another sworn shield. You're good at this as well. <laughs> Where's all my income going? Um, anything else? Harbour master. Domain taxes? What? I do not fulfill the requirements. Ah, I can't hire one of those. Okay. Personal champion. I don't think we need a personal champion. We're fine. Right, that's enough. That's enough. We're, we're, we're losing all our income. 322 gold, and then we're going to university. Do not worry. Um, let us see. Uh, everyone gets a job. Exactly. We're employing everyone. To the sensible Jacob. I would be happy to educate your son, Tyrion Bloomfield. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent stuff, Stannis. I am glad that you have agreed to educate my son and convert him to the Lord of Light. I cannot join you yet. Ah, the piety requirements. 
It's unfortunate. Do we not have a decision? Uh, no, because I think he has to be my direct liege first, right? And usually it says convert culture, but we'll not convert faith over here. All babies cry, but with little Tyrion, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but a furrowed brow makes everything worse. Your son is not gaining weight as he should. We will take good care of him, my lord, but in the end, his life is in the father's hands. <gasps> oh, and I've just sent him to travel to King's Landing as well. Oh, dear. That's really dangerous. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't die before he gets there. Also, that's funny. I'm delivering a baby to King's Landing. <laughs> His mother didn't even get time to bond with him, neither did I. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, what's this? Swayan Evelyn? Okay, to the handsome Jacob, your son Tyrion has safely arrived in the Iron Throne. And I shall begin his lesson lessons forthwith. Very good. Thank you, Stannis. I will be loyal to you. You have been loyal to me. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me respect. You came to my grand wedding, when not even my own liege could be bothered to. You have done very good. Right, fabricate claim is halfway, so we can take this. That's going to be nice. Hopefully we get a claim on the duchy. Also, we can go to university soon as well. Let's go four times speed. Oh, things are getting exciting, I tell you. Let's take a, a, a little drink of water as well. There we go. Kermit, Kermit, Kermit has increased his prowess by one. How strong are our knights looking? 32 prowess, 28. Leona is my best champion. Wow. She's 54 as well. Amazonian. What happened to your husband? Do you have a child? You do? I mean, at least he's robust. Okay, that's the next generation. I need to find you. Let's see. Halos is robust. Hale? I want someone. Can we find someone who's Herculean, maybe? We can. My courtier. He's only 12, though. Uh, what about Robust? I, I think she's going to make a very good champion. Although, ah, she's 54, so she can't actually get pregnant now, right? Never mind, I'll ignore that. Lady Ravina has been excommunicated now as well. Yeah, but to be fair, she's a murderer and a kinslayer. So I can understand that one. I don't understand mine, though. Lord Aegon is hosting a hunt. We're not going to go to that. Let us decline. Uh, I'm saving for university. In fact, we can now go to university. Okay, let us go... Uh, spend a semester at a renowned center of studies, learning from the wisest minds of the land. It is an occasion to fill the gaps in your youthful education, but also to improve yourself all around. Develop your skills, learn new abilities, and make important connections. So we can upgrade our education trait. We gain skill points, gain experience, and we're even going to gain a book artifact. Let us go ahead and do this. So is there only one university in the whole map? Yes. That's the Starry Sept. Luckily, we're right next to it. That's very fortunate. Free, it's gone up. 328 gold. <laughs> Let us wait one more month. Are you excited? Uh, House of the Dragon. There's a House of the Dragon teaser today. Really? Do you know what time? Oh, we might watch it on stream, you know. I don't care if YouTube copyrights me. I didn't know there was a teaser today. Oh, but now I'm hyped. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have to watch that. Man, I've been waiting for season two for so damn long. I I've been holding off rewatching season one until season two is announced. So then I can finish watching season one again and then go straight into season two. And then I'll probably do the same season three. I, I loved Game of Thrones when it was coming out every week. Uh, House of the Dragons is going to be the same. Let's see. Never back down. Friendly fatal casualties. Advantage plus five. Let's get that. We are going to be a fighter just like my father. And just like his father. Uh, let's see. Activities. University. Now we can do this. Let us go ahead, max it out. It hasn't increased again, nice. So we could study hard. You came a long way to study here, and you plan to make the absolute most of it, or I intend to experience the life of a student. No, we're going to study hard. It's a lot of money. And from this, we're going to get a illustrious book artifact. Okay. We have a little unsafety here because of hills. I tell you what, we have gold. So let's just get a mountaineer. And we'll completely remove that danger. Yeah, there's no point risking it. If we have to spare gold, why not? And thus, we set off for university. We are already a skilled tactician. So we could become a brilliant general with this. Very nice. Very nice. I've just watched both Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon about a week ago. How did you find them? They're brilliant. They're brilliant. I, even though people like to, to flame Season 8 a bit, overall Game of Thrones was uh, very good. Very good. I enjoyed it a lot. I miss having a series uh, as good as Game of Thrones to watch. And finally here, walk in the hallowed halls of the Starry Sept. 
Reverts, revert seat of all knowledge of the faith of the Seven's world. I have so much to learn from the holy men and women who gather between these venerable wars. And what about all the ancient scrolls and books? Of course, major centers of culture are also active markets and offer all the distractions a student could ever desire. Time to get started. Hopefully we can max this out, gain three perk points. Wow. Okay, that's insane, that's insane. I haven't seen both, but I am reading the Game of Thrones books. I'm currently listening to the Game of Thrones audiobooks as well. Uh, not reading them, but listening. Uh, I'll tell you, the, the guy, I forget his name, oh dear. But the guy who voice acts the books is so bloody brilliant. I love his Tyrion voice. Already read all spin-offs, but just the first of A Song of Ice and Fire. I need to get onto the spin-offs. I read like half of, um, oh, what's it called? Do you know the Targaryen one? Um that like focused on Aegon's conquest in the timeline. I've completely forgotten the name. It's not Blood of the Dragons, is it? No, Blood of... No, I can't remember. It's, it's, it's Blood in the title, I think. Matt, my memory for names is terrible, guys. Uh, I am suddenly distracted from my midnight studies by a loud crash and an ear-deafening slam and an expensive-sounding shatter. What in the world is going on? A source of disturbance appears to be two peasants. The seven who are one knows how they got in here, ravenously gulping down a barrel of the university spiced wine. That's what I love about Christmas, actually. Mold wine. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, this will teach them, one of them shouts. Yeah, they think they're better than us just because they can read. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the idea of a university? Is to, uh, to be able to go there and read and study. Oh, I don't have the gold to spare. Um, I could tell the teachers and become a snitch. Sure, we'll tell the teachers. I've learned something. Uh, my visits have become slightly more successful, my studies, so it was worth it. Fire and blood, that's it. I knew there was blood in the name. Ah, thank you, thank you. Fire and blood, yes, perfect. It would be excellent series. It was around uh, four to five seasons, but when you read the books, you can really get angry about destroying most character arcs. Yeah, that's true. I've already noticed as well in the first book that there's a few differences, and I've heard it does get worse later on because obviously, um, yeah... Uh, as for books, Duncan Egg are really the best. I need to read those. I'm going to get finished the main series first, though, before I read all the other spin-offs. I started with Fire and Blood just because it was, like, kind of like Aegon's Conquest. I felt like a good time to start to get an overview. Plus, House of the Dragon, had just fi I just finished watching that, so I wanted to understand that a bit more. Uh, universities and centres of higher education are always bustling hives of socialisation. In these hollowed halls, the students are all peers, all apprentices along the road to knowledge, which is why it can be helpful to make friends and feel part of a community. These are at least my first thoughts when Bors approaches me, the smell of mead on his breath. Hmm. He is also a fellow, fellow honeywiner. Uh, join me and my friends, Jacob. Prove to us the might of a lord by downing more cups than anyone else. And we shall consider you one of us. Uh, I, I don't really want to be considered one of you, though. I, I'm here to improve my studies as a commander. I do not care if you're getting drunk with the likes of you. To the sensible Jacob, I would like to offer your courtier, Ormond Stewart, to become the squire of Ama Hewitt. Is this the... Oh, this is... Yeah, he's the robust boy. Yes, I want him to become a knight. I will accept that. I will accept that with gratitude. Thank you, my friend. Right, let us get back to university. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Fire and Blood has a lot of what goes on in House of the Dragon. Exactly. That's why I, I wanted to read it as well, to understand House of the Dragon. I'll be honest. Um, oh, do you know what? The end of season one. I, I won't say it in case anyone's already watched it, because I, I know spoilers are, are really crap, but... Man, the ending of season one. Eh, I want season two now. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> the halls of the University of the Starry Sept often echoes with the debates of students and teachers, some of which escalates into notorious rivalries, like between Braxton, who is possessed, and Egon, who is very diplomatic. Interesting. Uh, when I find them today, they are, as usual, screaming at each other, trying to prove whose field of study is better equipped to, to discuss generals of ancient and modern times. Something less usual, however, is that they suddenly notice me approaching and ask me to take a position. Lads. Lads. I think there are great merits in both disciplines. They're unimpressed. Okay. What can you do? What can you do? Also, you can tell how much I love House of the Dragon, because if you look at my first other Game of the Thrones series... I literally went straight in with House of the Dragon <laughs> and played as Rhaegar. That was a lot of fun, I tell you. Uh, Bloomfield Dynasty is no farm. Why? Eat. So we are now noteworthy. We are increasing our reputation. 
Very nice. The starry sept is often home to fervent debates among teachers and students alike. After a particularly enlightening lecture from our teacher Egon, I find myself dragged into one such debate with another student, Balls. These two lads again, okay. Uh, no, you're making no sense. You are completely misrepresenting the philosopher's point. I scream. You are completely delusional. He fires back. From the corner of my eye, uh, I see Egon stare at us with a pensive look on his face. Um, slightly more successful, sure. Uh, but as the master said, Balls has bested me. We're not doing so good. We're, we're tier one. I really wanted to get tier four, but we, we might not be getting it, guys. Uh, okay, I've maxed out my uh, my spy master relation. Leo's not liking me, probably because I kicked him out of my wedding. Let's try and sway the uncle. Uh, it's just done nothing but cause problems for me. Nothing but causing problems. Fire and Blood is specific because of the in-universe history. It's great when you examine it in terms of writing false history, but not as a, a prose. Duncan Egg is perfect. The way Dunk goes from a flea bottom kid to Kingsguard is so good. You can find a lot of inspiration from history books. Like, I can't even say that. Pressure even found some parts. I look stylized interpolation mix. I need to read more history. I really do. I really do. I think one reason that I'm not enjoying my Legacy of Persia series as much as like my Valachia series or my Island series is because I don't know too much about the history of that part of the world. Whereas the others, I, I knew a bit of the history, so I was able to get into it more. But yeah, I, I really need to read more history. But then I also need to read Game of Thrones and everything else. <laughs> so much to read. So little time. Lord, okay. Wait, why are you... What happened to the Lord Paramount? He fell from the window of his bedchamber. AC339? Wait, what date was this? Uh, the 18th of the 6th moon. Five days ago, he fell from his window. Um, okay, okay. The Reach is doing interesting things. Uh, uh, I'm trying to study, though. Uh, teaching at the Starry Sept takes place for the most part in an oral form, and students are encouraged to ex exercise their rhetorical prowess and to show the progress of their learning in debates in front of their peers and teachers. Today, Braxton has asked me and Costin to take up the opposing sides on the topic of generals of ancient and modern times to discuss it. I think my father was one of the best generals. No, no doubt about that. Let us see. Uh, let me begin from the seven point of star. We won the debate. Look at that. I proved it. And my knight is qualified for a tournament as well. Interesting. That's going to happen a lot now as we grow our land, which is nice. Uh, after finishing universe, Jacob can wear John Lennon glasses like the rest of the characters. We probably won't. We won't do that. <laughs> it's a funny idea, though, but he, he is a soldier first. He has come here to improve his commander abilities. Greetings, Lord Jacob of Brightwater. I proud through documents of ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case with you and the rightful lord of the Lordship of Darkdale. It is only a county title. It's only a county title. Shall we try again? I don't want to go to war for a tiny county at a time. I might say no and then restart for fabrication. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Should we should we say no and then just keep doing it until we get a claim on the high, whole duchy? Otherwise, it's going to take so long uh, and so much money if we do it at a county at a time. I, I want to be taking duchies, really, ideally. House of Dragon Season 1 is, in my opinion, better than the last three seasons of Game of Thrones. Uh, I think so. Overall, yeah. There were a few scenes I did enjoy in the later seasons of Game of Thrones, though. Like, a, a few specific characters had good arcs. Um, but yeah, as a overall thing, a little bit of a letdown, I won't lie. Mm, me too, that's why I probably enjoy anything ancient uh, the most, because I have a degree in that. Also loved the Vistulania, I've read a lot on... Ah, uh, see, I know a lot about British history, which is why I probably enjoyed the Irish playthrough. And I watched the... I mean, I didn't watch much, but I watched the... Um, the documentary on Netflix about the Ottoman Empire. And so then I learned a bit about Valachia. <laughs> and that just gave me enough, like, like interest to really enjoy it. Even though I was playing a different time period. Uh, Jacob needs a makeover. He looks like any other man from the Reach. How dare you? He is the greatest warrior you've ever seen. You've ever seen. Uh, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to restart this. Because I want to claim on the whole duchy. It's pointless going to these massive wars. 
Oh, it auto restarts. Oh, very nice. It's pointless going to these massive wars with tens of thousands of soldiers just for one tiny county. It just doesn't feel right, you know. Uh, I'd rather go to war for the whole duchy. Right, let's go back to university. I totally agree uh, on what happened to Dunk. House of the Dragon would be better if it had more episodes, really. Should expand more on relationships. I wish, I wish. Uh, I'm going to become the Admiral. Interesting. What do I get for this? Naval speed. Oh, we get martial lifestyle experience. That's not bad. And we get stewardship experience. We get a bit of both. Okay, that's not bad at all, actually. I'd rather be his marshal, but... Uh, uh, that's second best. Today, our teacher Egon begins. We are going to examine the anatomy of a falcon. An excited murmur spreads through the lecture hall as we appreciate the hooded bird standing proudly on the teacher's gloved arm. Much can be learned by studying the body of animals, as the ancients taught us. Does anyone want to help me? With the dissection demonstration. I will. Yes, yes, yes. I will volunteer. And now we are at tier two of our studies. Is it too late to get to tier four? Tier four. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, I've learned of a lover's secret. Interesting. Okay, we already finished our studies. We got to tier two. We got to tier two. Uh, this has been such an amazing experience when I left. I couldn't even imagine the number of wise men that study at the Starry Sept. The depth of their thinking and the breadth of their research. Just being part of the same environment has made me a much better person. And with my new gained knowledge, I can make my home way home very satisfied. We are now a brilliant general. I have studied and equaled my father. We gained two martial lifestyle perks. A lot of gold was invested in buying rare and precious books. So we should get an artifact as well. And I've increased my knowledge by one. Knowledge is power. We get the Bloomfield Revelry, Prestige, Courtier and Guest Opinion, and Monthly Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience. Eh, an elegant tone that shows a deep understanding of diplomacy as it touches upon subjects such as art of feasting. The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of rose flowers. Interesting. Uh, let's finish our university visit. Do I actually have anything to replace this with? This has fertility, so I like that. Prestige... I mean, uh, it even gives less prestige. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use this. I mean, it's fine. Uh, what I will do, though, can we go to a university again? 20 years. I might go again in 20 years. How old will I be? 40? Just so I can upgrade my, my, my trait once more. Uh, and let's get household guard. We can get more captains, which would be very nice. Uh, and then we can go down here. Courtship's going to be good. A few free perks is never bad. Uh, and now we're going to wait for the, the fabrication, aren't we? Yeah. Is that a grand tournament here? Oh, there was. Okay, that's the tournament that everyone's gone to. At long last, I'm finally home. There was nothing better than arriving back in Brightwater after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. The caravan master Mern reports that we have journeyed for 198 days. Thank for someone who I want. It's funny that studying it takes less time than going to a grand tournament. Oh dear, how does that work, Crusader Kings? How does that work? How's my son coming on? I didn't pin him. Let's go ahead and pin him. He's still sickly. It's a little bit worrying, a little bit worrying. Yeah, I only have a claim on this duchy over here, which my sister controls. It's very weird. I don't know what happened to this. Maybe I never had it. Maybe not. Uh, a ting meat. Yeah, let's daydream about strategy. I don't not care about the ting meats. They mean little to me. What I could do is get more men at arms. We wanted to get we wanted to get pikemen. Or oh, I can save gold and build stuff out. My wife is pregnant once more. Very nice. Very nice. Hopefully a daughter. We can get an alliance. Um, if you get the World of Ice and Fire book, it has great illustrations and in world his, uh, history. Plus, it makes Rhaegar look like Chris Hemsworth. I might have to do that. I, I do want to buy myself the box set of um, Game of Thrones books eventually. I know I said before that I don't like reading and I prefer audio books. But I think this series could actually be one that I read maybe one day. And it would be nice just to have the physical copies. I miss having physical copies of things. A grand tournament with the Lannisters. Hmm... There is a joust. There is a joust. There is a duel. A melee. Archery. This is a very good tournament for us. It's all based on prowess. I think we should do it. My wife is pregnant, though. We're going to miss the birth of my second child. But I think we need to start making a name for ourselves. Let us join the tournament. I don't think I need anyone. If we go through this, we gain martial experience as well. Let's see. We'll, we'll get a forest guide. 
Um, there we go. That will reduce this. Maybe... Yeah, I might actually get Mountaineers as well. Let's just reduce that so we don't have any danger. So we get the Martial Lifestyle Experience here. Don't we get some XP for going here as well? I, I don't actually remember. Is there anything to get on the way home? No. Okay. Let us set off then. Who is coming with us? Quentin, my sw sworn shield, a knight. Kemet, my sworn shield, my caravan master, and Harold. Let us close this and attend the grand tournament in the Westerlands. Oh, it's time. It's time to prove myself. Let us sell off. Jacobs uh, looks like my boyfriend, so it means my boyfriend looks like average Richmond. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it kind of, it really looks like his father, I feel a little bit. Although the hair is slightly different colour. Uh, truly, a stroll through Brunner is a gift from the seven who are one. The tranquility of this place is suddenly and abruptly broken by the furious grunts and clattering of armour. Hark! Get me out of this metal prison! My squire took offence at my manner, even going so far as to call me heartless and has abandoned me. I tried to stifle my laughter, but the image of this four clattering across the countryside is just too much. I could, of course, have someone help him, but is it truly worth it? Wait, this text is different. Is that because I'm callous, maybe? I think so. Uh, I could leave him to his fate. <laughs> or I could take God. Now I'm going to leave him to his fate. You should respect your squire more. Shouldn't you? Uh, you wouldn't have been uh, put in this position. Send gift. Oh, I, I accept your very generous gift. 168 gold. Thank you. Maybe that's their share of the grand wedding, maybe. Uh, we are making good time in our efforts to reach Casterly Rock and the Flats of Hilt. Allows us to lower our guard for a few moments. When we reach the peak of the valley and look below and notice another entourage diligently pacing forward. They seem to be surveying the area, taking notes and discussing the scenery. Still, observing the group, it would appear as if masked riders raised weapons are quickly approaching from the east. It seems like an ambush and I hesitate. Is it really worth? Uh, really my responsibility to safeguard the other travellers. I think I must act. We will, will act. Let us defend them. This is great practice for the tournament. Me and my entourage ride headfirst into the would-be assassins, blindsiding them completely. How incompetent do you have to be not to have a clear view of your rear? We easily slice through the few that resist, and the rest run off into the wilds. I look up to see Lord Argamore staring at me, eyes wide, and mouth slightly agape. As he snaps out of it, his facial features adjust, but he still seems surprised and grateful for my intervention. He beckons for me to come over. While is my good deed for the day, we increase our martial. We gain general opinion. Oh, we grow closer to forming a friendship. That's my vassal, is it not? I, yeah, that's my vassal. He's a, a powerful vassal, in fact. Very nice, very nice. And we got some good practicing ready for the tournament. Can I train for the tournament? I don't think I can, can I? Um, train for a tournament is on cooldown. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Our road takes us through the treacherous parts of Wolfton. While I scan for any dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I brace myself for impact, Quentin jumps out of the bush instead holding a plant. Oh dear, I'm going to let him eat it. Uh, yeah, he gets a painful stomachache for five years. Better him than me. Better him than me. And look at that, 200 martial experience. Another perk already. Promising prospects, marriage acceptance for myself and family. Very nice, very nice. Imagine we could marry into Stannis' bloodline. We have the alliance. We have the alliance. Maybe marriage is next. Hello, Mr. Oates. How are you doing? Nice to see you in the stream. An imposing woman is standing on the road ahead of us. I am Maurice of Greenfield, my liege. I bested dozens of men in combat. And honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road, looking for someone better than me. This is probably why my voice keeps going, actually. Uh, 15 prowess. She's strong, though. She is strong. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a battle. I will fight you myself. And I win the fight. She has now joined me. Ah. Imagine she wins in the tournament. What a story. What a story. Murder's in charge of... Sorry if you hear an ice cream van in the back. Wait, it's zero degrees and there's an ice cream van outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Murder's in charge of our food supplies and sheepishly revealed our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Oh, dear. What a time for ice cream. Uh, patches of mold cover the bread and fresh produce and we have quickly used up the remaining of our dried food. The pastry grows hungry as dusk begins to fall. How's the playthrough going? Hi Mace! We had the wedding! We have an alliance with Stannis. And now, uh, we got excommunicated as well. Uh, now we're off to a grand tournament. 
in the Westerland. We're going to Casterly Rock. Uh, nature will provide for us. Ah, 2% chance to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. It's just a bit of mold. Ah, yeah, but I can't risk getting ill. Yeah, but ill is worse than dying. Better than dying. We won't die, will we? That was dangerous. <laughs> 2% <laughs> I'm willing to take it uh, Lord Gillard the showy knight who guards of his passage by challenging all comers has come one to fight too many Ordello is said to have delivered him a frightful injury opening the way for nobles to press freely once more he is dead ah, Ordello 36 press what a man what a fighter uh, such are the risks of a gallant life I would know I am a gallant man myself Extra frozen ice cream, exactly. <laughs> uh, then again, yesterday I did have an ice pole, so I guess I'm not one to speak. Um, I've noticed that Harold avoids me more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we are invited to a feast and consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me, especially when I overhear him defaming me. Jacob is a foppish bastard. I'd be way better lord than him. Or oh, would you now? Is that what is that what you end your days? I'm like, nah, that's a bit extreme. But I'm callous. I am callous. I could challenge him to a fight. I think we do it. You want to know how this is? I'll show you. Made a strong. I lost on a one percent. Holy crap! I become wounded right before the tournament, and he's left a mutiny humiliation. What? Mutiny humiliation. Oh my god, we have a lot of uh, things here. Stress gain and travel companion opinion. What? Wow. I can't believe we lost 1%. Now we're very lucky we didn't lose the 2% on dying. Um, hopefully my physician can heal me before the tournament because we have a severe health penalty now. And I don't want anything bad to happen like infection. But we have arrived at the tournament. Okay, let us pray... To the warrior. We don't have the choice. Uh, uh, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just go to the tourney grounds. But it looks of it. We're not going to qualify for the joust at this rate, though. Let us try and qualify for the joust. He showed me. He sure showed me. I got humbled. I got humbled. Maybe that was karma for leaving the knight in his armor. Go on that. Go faster. I hear a man's voice echo across the grounds. I look up and see a small thing hurrying for the sky like a black bolt of lightning. Soon enough, it swoops down towards a finishing line. Ah, you must have cheated. Your bird cannot fly that fast. Just look at her. She's as round as an egg. <laughs> uh, this is some excellent entertainment, lads. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been feeling a little stressed, you know. I lost a fight I really shouldn't have lost. I really want to qualify for the joust. Someone is spying on me. Lord Ansen. That's Quentin. Ah, this fellow. My vassal and knight. Ooh. I could throw him in a prison. Yes. If he is spying on me, I shall... Wait, he didn't get imprisoned. Who did I imprison? I misunderstood. Oh, this is Quinn. What? Okay. I mean, he was spying on me, so I imprison him. Yeah. This guy has been in house arrest for 12 years. <laughs> uh, unlucky. Sucks to be you. Uh, what's this? Lord Leo has been swayed. Excommunication again. Lord Valorant. And he's been imprisoned. Oh dear. Master Renly has improved his, uh, his prowess. Right. Let's go back to the tournament. We really need to qualify. Oh, we didn't qualify. But my vassal and knight has qualified. Lord Paramount Stefan, the beautiful storm. Ooh, he's a Baratheon. Very well. May the best man win. We have not qualified, so we will skip through this one. Um, bad luck, I guess. Yeah, very bad luck. Hi, IRC. How are you doing? Nice to see you. So if you lose a fight, go find a fat bird and laugh at it. Exactly. That's some good life advice there. Do you know what we should do? One day, I have to compile just a little tiny netbooks, uh, notebook of like Game of Thrones or like Crusader Kings quotes. <laughs> uh, and do, I don't know, like a, a Crusader Kings take on life philosophy or something like this I, I don't know could be funny this high septon is unbelievable yeah he's excommunicating uh, excommunicating everyone it's insane but right, who's gonna win this lord edwell the seal silver seahorse of black stripe what a cool nickname or oh, lord paramount stefan the beautiful storm of the stormlands why can't i get a, a cool nickname like this are they are they both gonna make the final i wonder lord edwell they did. They did. 
Uh, and it looks like Lord Paramount Stefan, the beautiful storm, won the joust. There we go. Um, oh, he was facing Lord Martin of Dorlando. Okay, a fine contest. A fine contest indeed. And we have had a second son. You guys know what to do. First name and education focus. You've got to say both though. You've got to say both. <laughs> the code of kings for kings and our kings. <laughs> That's bloody brilliant. Do you know what? Maybe I'll do that as like a, maybe like a two year or like a three year celebration. Something like this on the channel. Uh, I'll take like your favorite quotes or whatever. Wolfgang. How about Wolfmere? Wolfmere. I, I, I'll do like Wolf something. Give me a replacement. We'll, we'll go with you because you said it first. How do you think about Wolfmere? Ah, we'll go with Wolfgang. It's what you wanted. It's what you wanted. Horace Bloomfield. I thought that said horse for a second. Uh, and we're going stewardship. Okay. I think it's fun letting you guys pick the names. Because then we see them in the world. Let's go stewardship. Also, also, Stannis. He has okay stewardship. Um, what about this guy? Uh, I'm going to go Stannis, actually. Stannis, can you educate another child? You can. I'm going to send Wolfgang to you. There we go. We're going to convert his faith to the Lord of Lights. The High Sept. The High Septon has caused this. He has betrayed us. Okay, the joust is over. So let us go to the Tony Grants. Hopefully we can qualify this time. Uh, right now we're not qualifying. It sucks. Lively noises makes me discover an improvised arena. Sell up by the local peasants where two burly wrestlers are pulling on a show. They trade blows, weave, duck, and circle each other until one of them makes a daring move. I call this one the Holy Cantilever, he screams before lifting his opponent and slamming him into the ground, making him yield immediately. Back over serene and stunning, victorious, yell again, the victor gloats. Um, I should study their techniques. Let us study their techniques. There we go. We're, we're getting closer to qualified, but we're not qualifying right now. We're not qualifying. Wolfgang, Wolf, Wolfred could work. We, we went with Wolfgang. I, I, I'm res I have to respect your guys' requests. I must respect it. Uh, ward set up. Unless it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, to the handsome Jacob, I would be happy to educate your son, Wolfgang Bloomfield. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent stuff, Stannis. Excellent stuff. hundred and... Wow. That's a lot of contestants. No wonder we're struggling so hard to qualify. That's over 200 contestants. That's insane. Um, let us see. Is there anything... Score increases slightly. We are qualifying now. Very nice, very nice. And this is for the duels. And our wounds just healed. That might be why I didn't qualify last time. We have become scarred. I gain more prestige and attraction opinion. Very nice. To the sensible Jacob, your son Wolfgang has safely arrived in the Iron Throne and I shall begin his lessons forthwith. Very good. Thank you, Stannis. Much respect is shared between us. And we have qualified for the duel. Dan and Stuart. Uh, I feel like... Uh, I feel like YouTube sometimes get out of sync. Um, just double check. If you hover down at the bottom of the video, it should say live. If you click on it, it should catch up the stream, by the way. Because <laughs> um, sometimes YouTube just uh, fall behind on the stream. Right, contestants march into the field, taking their places around the sparring quad as the Herald announces the contest commencement. The squared off ring is being looked over in the background, rattled and shaken to ensure no give should a contestant crash into it. The door qualifiers have come to an end and it's clear who will be put forward for the quarterfinals as it stands. The varied pitches and volumes of the crowd's cheers leave no question as to the favourites. The inclusion of Cadwin of Crags Bay, a skilled Westerman fight of obscure origin, has caused quite a stir. For my first bout, I have been paired against my fellow contestant Cadwin. Oh, is that a different Cadwin though? We have so many Cadwins. No, that's the same Cadwin. Oh, I have no idea. Are you strong? 25 prowess. And a skilled fighter. Um, I am only a neophyte fighter. Oh dear. Uh, I am ready. Let us begin. Also, guys, how's the video quality looking today? I changed some things in OBS. It should look a little bit sharper, I hope. Uh, I should have tested it beforehand, but uh, this stream was very spontaneous. I wasn't planning to stream. Right, we're second favourites. I vowed to myself I would win a contest in this tournament, and I cannot help but consider a less fair approach to securing the prize of the duel competition. I'm sure my opponents would do the same if only they had an idea. Who knows? Maybe they already have. So Edwin the Hawk of Night Song is the favourite. We could try... Uh, it, it hasn't got a uh, 13% chance to get disqualified. I, I think this is no way to win. We are already second favourite. We can work with that. We can work with that. Quality's good. It looks great. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. 
because I did notice when after rendering, like uh, it just looked a little blurry, and I don't know quite why. Um, it's ever since you guys know, like a few weeks ago, I, I reinstalled Windows and everything, and I've been struggling to get my old settings. But yeah, <laughs> I'm working it out again slowly. Uh, it happens in a split second. Our blade crashed, clashed thunderously. The hilt of Catwin's weapon slips past, smacking off the back of my sword hand. Reaning backwards to gain some space, I clutch up my hand with my free one. Sword held limply in front of me. Oh, we're fighting Cadwin. Okay. Uh, the throbbing pain radiates up my arms as I wiggle my fingers curiously. It appears to not be heavily damaged, if it is at all. But inspection is tricky as I weave backwards to avoid a blow from the advancing Cadwin. He grins, clearly seeing an advantage, and sails another blow just past my flank. I can't simply dodge forever. My hand will need to be dealt with. One way or another. Yeah. You think I only train with one hand? This character's skill with a blade in either hand gives them a surprise advantage when crossing swords. We gain prowess? Increases gr I am a skilled fighter. Let us do it. There's no way we lose now. He's going to be intimidated. A screeching chorus of metal on metal rings out as two blades scrape down each other's lengths. Sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for advantages, thinking back to when I saw an opportunity to use my other hand during the duel. I am winning the fight by some marching. I just need to hold it together for a few moments more. We advance upon each other once more. We are both battered, both tired. And there can only be one winner. Let us see. Uh, I must remember my training. Yes. I must remember my training. Did we lose? 76% chance and we lost? What? Now, no way we lose now. Famous last words. It really was. Man. Oh, what is happening? This tournament's bloody terrible. I got knocked out as well, I think it said. What? I'm not having that. I demand a recount. <laughs> uh, my master at arms, Malone, has very hesitantly brings my guest Wilbert to me. Where's Wilbert? There's Wilbert. Oh, he's not... He, 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 no, my army is not a nursery. A, a nursery. Get him out of here. If you want to train him, train him yourself. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. An interesting round. Oh, for a moment, I thought we were back in the tournament. I was very confused then. Who won? Lord Lionel of Hearts Home. His armor, man. Wow. What armor is that? From the Vale. I have never played in the Vale. Maybe that's where we go. Um, in our next Game of Thrones playthrough. We could do, we could do. Oh, there's so many places I need to play. Uh, I haven't played in the Vale or the Riverlands yet. Or the, or the Crownlands, actually. No, I did play in the Crownlands when I started as Rhaegar. That's a lie. Right, what are we doing now? It's a melee, okay. Oh, when it said Lady Cersei. <laughs> I thought it meant Cersei Lannister. I think she's dead. Um, I have a match to focus on, ladies. In fact... My wolf, my wife is my soulmate. Let us destroy these favors. I have no interest in no other woman. We have two strong sons together already. I will not be distracted. I have here come here to prove my prowess. Nothing else, nothing less. I have a word fire with every famous last word she said. <gasps> Tyrion! How did he die? He died from being sickly? No! I had so many hopes for you, my sweetest child. All the things you would learn, experience, and do. There were so many possibilities, a whole life to live. Maybe you would have had children of your own one day, but now none of those things will ever come to be. Tyrion died. My son! Oh, I forgot to pin my other son as well. Oh, no. At least we have Wolfgang, I guess. <laughs> He's gonna be heir to my lands now. Man, I didn't think that would happen. That's terrible news. How can I focus on the tournament now? My son is dead. I did not deserve this. I did not deserve this. That's your boy. I, I, it is. Ah, oh, it's terrible. I greet a band of knights as they wander past me. One straggling behind the rest makes me pause, spinning on my heel. I call after the figure. They are clad in shapeless, ill-fitting armor. Their eyes wide and clearly terrified beneath their helmet. Something isn't right here. Stepping forward, I rip off the helmet before they have a chance to react. Standing before me, looking around furtively to see if anyone else had noticed, is none other than a woman dressed as a knight, no less. Listen here, my strongest knight is a woman, so I don't mind this. How strong are you? 31 prowess, I mean, come on. That's more than me? That, okay, it's equal to me, I gained some. 
I will keep your secret. I will keep your secret. Hopefully, one day, you can come to my court and serve as my knight. I will respect you. We, we didn't even qualify for the melee. I, I'm, t I'm emotionally wrecked. Uh, it's going terrible. Wait, what's this? Stannis? Stannis has died. The great king of the Iron Throne. My lord, a letter marked with the seal of House Baratheon has arrived from King's Landing. Ravens spread grievous tidings all across the realm. The messenger gives a quick bow and hands me the letter to Purse. King Stannis died from his wounds. May he rest pose in peace. According to the Lords of Inheritance, Andrew Baratheon has been proclaimed the rightful successor to the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. He really looks like Stannis, you know. Like, really, really looks like him. I thought that was Stannis, actually. <laughs> um, while some mourn the passing of his grace, word had it that summer began to voice the discontent away from the public eye. Before assuming my tasks, I wonder for a brief moment, what shall his rule bring? Did we lose our alliance? He died from his wounds. At the age of 76. Well, a man... I need to find a new educator. Maybe Andrew can teach my sons. Uh, it's only 16 prowess, uh, Marshall. But I need to convert social figure, eh? Only time will tell what is in store for the Seven Kingdoms now. Excommunication again. Lord Balon's been excommunicated. Lord Stannis the Merciless has passed on. Oh, I wonder if there'll be some rebellions. There well could be. There well could be. Uh, what I might do then is wait off on this. I mean, he doesn't have to be educated until he's six anyway. Because I don't know if you guys know, but the calculations for education don't start taking effect until they're six years of age. So just in case there is a war, I'm going to keep my son here. So he's not in a dangerous place. Rip Stannis the Manus. Yes, or Stannis the Merciless in this one. In other news, my friend told me in Discord Valley played as the Pope and beat up the Holy Roman Emperor at a door. <laughs> That's brilliant. The High Septon does not like any lord under the sky, apparently. Yeah, he's ruining everything. Um, did we qualify for this? We didn't, did we? Uh, I'll buy us both another beer. He spilled my beer. I can't believe this. We didn't even qualify. And now Stannis, my friend, my ally is dead. My son died. What a terrible tournament. What a terrible tournament. And now the melee is over. Maybe we can qualify for the archery. Let's try Oh, this music is so good. Man, I want to replay through The Witcher 3. That could be a good stream game, you know. But may maybe not on the YouTube channel, though. Let's see. 17 days. Let's do this. I've never played through The Witcher 3 and 4. Uh, and I really want to. I, I own three copies of The Witcher 3. And I've never completed it. Uh, try and explain that one. I have it on Xbox 360, Xbox One, and on PC. Uh, marching into the tourney grounds, I join a group of contestants practicing their showmanship with measured enthusiasm. A few spectators already look down at us, chewing roasted meat and spitting bones. The chills cool for a spectacle. Some of us gripe at this distraction from training. Others, amidst the hollowing, insist that this has become a moment for proving. I shall show them how it is done, and we have qualified for the archery. It's a time to redeem ourselves. Uh, we can't practice anymore. Okay, so that's gonna have to be good enough. Let us prepare. I must honor my son. I must honor Stannis. The varied crowd of contestants mill about the butts, comparing bows and trading tales of their finest shot. The creak of bows and twangs of strings carry far, punctuating the hubbub. A smell of resin wafting through the still air. My ears prick up as my name is mentioned, drifting across the gentle breeze. That could be a good sign or a bad one. It is time to show the world my skill. Maybe invite some red god believers into your court and give them to educate your children. Ah, that's a better idea, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I sent them to Stannis because Stannis had such high martial and we had the alliance and there was role play there. He respected my father, my father respected him, you know. Me and Stannis grew to respect each other. Um, but Andrew, we have no, we have no role play with Andrew. So I think I will invite characters instead. I flexed the bowstrings a few times, limbering up and taking a deep breath, mustering all my control. I draw the bow into the air, slowly lowering it in line with the target. As soon as the arrow leaves my fingertips, I intuitively feel the shot is a good one. Moments later, a satisfying ping confirmed it. I have hit the target's nail right on the head. Very nice. Our score increases moderately, but stays the same. <laughs> Go figure. We are the favourite, though, somehow. Uh, I watch with a practice eye as Galadon brings his approach towards the targets. The first shot flies true and fats home. The second was way more wayward. 
Much more weight. He has shot Marin. <laughs> oh, of House Martel. Okay. That's a dangerous shot you just did. Uh, this is not my concern whatsoever. I will not deal with this. Okay, Dusk begins to draw in slowly but steadily as the competition continues for snapping of strings a staccato rhythm. I lean on my bow, considering the path this contest has taken so far, such as when an arrow got waylaid on its way to the target and struck another competitor. The competition begins to draw to a close as arrows continue to fly into and past the butts. If I am to make any impact and proceed from here, I must act now. Uh, I am one with my bow. It's a prowess and martial challenge. I step forward, not aim drawn loose. This is for you, my son. The arrow whistles through the air, thudding deep into the target. The crowd erupts. There can be no arguments. It is a huge point in my favor. I am winning. Victory is so close. Only a few more arrows are remaining for each competitor. The end is at hand. I don't think I've ever won the archery. But I will do this for you, my son, Tyrion. I think I lost. Tyrion, I'm sorry. I have lost to House Tarth. Lord Galadon of Tarth. There is always next time, my son. I will not forget you. I will remember. Quentin, my, uh, was he in my dungeon? He died, finally. Lord Leo is not swayed either. It is time we make the journey back home. What a terrible tournament. We performed terribly. We received much bad news. I must return home to my wife. I must counsel her. War declared on Liege. Eh. What's this, then? The, against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Perseon? Uh, enforce demands. He is deposed. Wait, what does that mean again? Rulers can be deposed as a result of faction demands or special events. The heirs will inherit the titles. Even the old ruler is still alive. Ah, so we don't gain independence. Um, who is your heir? <laughs> Five-year-old, your brother. Are the Tyrells dying out? Now they have 24 living members. They do have 24 living members. Um, oh, you're a bastard, though. They don't have many. Uh, I think we have to do this. Yeah, we have to do this. Okay. I don't think I'm going to join that. If it was like um, to destroy his title, maybe I would have joined. They are very strong, though. Nah, no, they're not. They're 500 summer nights. We don't have pikemen yet, though, so we can't counter them. But maybe I could spend my gold and get pikemen. But I mean, I have no reason to hate him. I hated his father, but not him. We're going to stay out of it. I must return home to my wife and comfort her. We lost our son. Times are hard right now. Times are hard. Plus, I'm going to wait for this fabrication. Because maybe this would give me a claim on the duchy. And then I go for war. Uh, for this instead. Right. Stan is trained some of your family too. He did. He did. He made them knights. In fact, didn't Stanish train me? He made me a knight, I think. Can I see that in memories? Um, I know, Lord Dunk. Ah, my uncle squired me. Uh, Dunk, I was knighted by Lord Dunk. I think Dunk was squired by Stannis. Knighted by Stannis. Uh, have I got memories here? Uh, I was knighted by Lord Paramount Willis. Oh no, that was Willis. Okay, so, <laughs> where's Leo? I think Leo was knighted by Stannis. Maybe. I was knighted by Lord Ellard. What? Who was knighted by Stannis? I think someone was. I forget, I forget. <laughs> uh, since leaving home nearly a year ago, I have seen highs and lows. Reveled in the wind blowing from my hair and lamented the rocks in my boots. There are so many places, so many things I have yet to see out there on the open road. I feel free to the stuffy castle, if only for a little while. The roads are full of pilgrims and wanderers. Perhaps it is among them, but I will find peace of mind. I have become a traveller. We gain plus one diplomacy. Very nice. We will travel a lot, no doubt. Oh, I love the traveling system. I tell you, this has to be one of the best DLCs that Crusader Kings uh, has delivered. The Knights, uh, the tournaments one. It's very, very good. I love it a lot. Um, right, what are we doing here now? Craycall is up. Oh, yeah, Craycall belongs to the Reach now. I forgot about that. We helped that one. My father fought for that war. Okay, let us let us unpause. We'll go three times speed. Just so I have time to read chat as well. Richard Book's English translation is meant. How is it? I can only speak English, though. So, it's going to have to be English. <laughs> uh, Otz wasn't Jacob's father, but grandfather. True, 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 true. He is my grandfather. And then the starting character in our law was my great-grandfather. Yes, because Jacob, my father, was murdered. He was murdered, and we never found out who. Um, let's see. Uh, we didn't get a claim on the duchy. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Oh, it's already working. Okay, very nice. 
We got 800 gold. I could get some pikemen if I wanted to, or we could carry on building up bright water. What's this? Upgrading this gives popular opinion for 485. Oh, yeah, but I can't build it because well, we're behind on technologies. 750. 1600? Wow. Uh, I found a court, uh, uh, a spy in my court. 750. Um, 725. Wasn't I going to replace this building? The walls and towers? What was I going to replace it with? I, I don't actually remember. Maybe walls and towers are good though. I know it doesn't add fort level. Maybe it's not good. Fort level 8. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Edric willingly exposed to a spying on you, begging you for mercy. It was Lord Argamore. Ah. Eric must rot in a cell. He is spying on me. He is my acclaimed knight. Edric, I mean. He spied on me. He must be dealt with. Does not matter if he is acclaimed knight. In fact, that's why we should police it even more. Let us grant a successor, Master Eustace of Smallbridge. You will be the successor for this now. Do we have a successor? Here we do. Uh, we're almost at rank 4. Yeah, uh, rank 3 seems to be where we... Without mighty stack has low drawability. I could repair this. Yeah, let's just repair it before it breaks. Because when we do eventually get a royal court, I guess at least we have an artifact there. Uh, Bloomfield Hills. We could upgrade some of this stuff. Uh, if I upgrade this for 500. Yeah, why not? Let's upgrade the apiaries as well. well. We'll get some more gold flowing. Martial perk available. Loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50. And we get more skills from my, my wife. Very nice. What is she doing right now? Assisting Rawler. Let's get her on managed domain. Let's get some even more gold. My prisoner Edric has died in my dungeons as well. Very nice. Um, wait, Persian is a gambler and he's nine. Oh gosh, who was Persian? <laughs> I remember, was it my island series? Where every single one of my kids were gamblers at like two years old. I think it was. Dunk was sent to learn under Stannis and then squired under Willis. Ah, that was it. You got a better memory than me. There we go. Yes, I remember now. I remember that. Ah, Willis and Stannis. Those are like the two big canon characters we had some roleplay with. But now they are both gone. They have both passed on. To a new life. To a new life. So the Tully's... He's gone now as well, right? Yeah, he's gone. He finally passed away, Edmore Tully. Now his daughter, the Silent Swimmer, is now in charge of the Riverlands. That's a, I want a cool nickname. I don't have one yet. <laughs> Everyone has some really cool, like, Game of Thrones related nicknames, but I don't. My grandfather had a nickname, right? Uh, he was Ironside. See, that's not Game of Thrones related, though. That's uh, just a normal vanilla one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's speed up this then. We'll we'll make some progress here on the fabrication. Lord Leo has been swayed. Very nice, very nice. We're get building up a gold. Maybe we can get some pikemen. Maybe we should get some pikemen. We I think as long as I'm earning 15 gold or more, I'm happy. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my uncle Lord Leo in a good light are presented for themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most chivalrous person you have ever heard of? It hurts to say it, but Lord Leo, of course. Lord Leo. And I don't even think it worked. He didn't even gain an opinion of me. Uh, education has been completed. Lionel, my knight. He is now... Look at that. Very, very good fighter. Very good fighter. Uh, we have built string storages as well. So that's going to earn us a bit more gold. Protector of the hills needs a successor. Uh, okay, Eustace. I'm going to have to force you to be a champion. Yeah, let's do this. Otherwise, he's going to keep uh, being unassigned, which will get a little bit annoying. And before we go to war, I'm going to get some pikemen. Wait, we have trebuchets? Yes, yes, yes. We're okay there. Let us unlock the pikemen. We're going to max them out. Get a size of eight. Oh, we can also increase our siege equipment size. Should probably do that. And my wife is pregnant again. Very nice. Cousin taken prisoner. We need to station the pikemen now. Um, we only have one place for them. In that case, we also need a building here that buffs spearmen, don't we? What would that be? A barracks buffs their damage? Is there anything else? <clears throat> no, okay. 
So we're going to get a, a barracks built here. 150 gold. That won't take too long to, to save up at all. I have become a trained fighter. I didn't even know that this could increase. Ah, we have 34 progress now. It's just slowly increasing. Very nice. Very nice. Things are progressing smoothly. We just need a claim on the duchy now. A claim on the duchy and things would be going uh, very nicely. We're not having many kids, are we? I mean, she's 21, actually. Three kids in, what, five years? I think that's okay. Encouraged development. Development growth plus 10%. Bath died. Died after Quentin knocked him completely off his horse during a tournament. He died in a tournament? Alas, he must not have been very good. Right, let's go ahead and build the barracks. There we go. We'll get that built. Uh, and now we're going to wait for this. Fabricating takes a while. Hopefully this time we get a claim on the duchy and we have had a third son. You guys know the drill. First name and education focus. What is your favorite ancient civilization? As a Mesoamerican nut, <laughs> my favorite is the Toltec. Favorite ancient civilization? I don't know if I can answer that. Because a lot of the history I know, I wouldn't say it was ancient. Most of my history knowledge comes from, um, like, uh, Britain, like, during the Viking period kind of stuff, you know? Um, I, I need to look into more history. It's on my to-do list, along with many other things. But, yeah, I don't know about ancient history. I don't know a lot about ancient history. That's probably why, as well, uh, I probably didn't enjoy Total War Pharaoh as much as I, I could have, because I just don't know much about the time period. Um, Eren and learning, there we go. The rules are, you've got to give a name and an education focus. Same message, first person. <laughs> okay, we're going Eren and learning. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Those are the rules. They are unfair, but life is unfair. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I need to think of a better way to do it, but I don't know. Right, Eren and learning. 69 opinion, perfect. Let's pin you, son. We need to keep an eye on you. Ah, and Sibelius, I just remembered. We need to find people to educate our sons. Thank you. <laughs> um, what's the best way to do this? I need unmarried females. Yes, yes. Let's see. Do we have any? Okay, we don't have any. Mm, probably want someone like you. You're quick. So you might have good children as well, which would be nice. And I want... Oh, what's it called? Is it just called the Red God? Yes, it's called the Red God. Let's do this, and we'll go by no inheritable traits. Okay, if we sort by stewardship, nah, it's not very good, not very good. Okay, what if we do the other way around then? Uh, unmarried male. Let's see. My courtier. You're my sworn shield. Do I have any of the red god? I don't... Uh, probably someone who is noble would be Bella. How are you? You're 40. Okay, let's find you. Uh, we have plenty of women who belong to the Red God. Also, though, equally bad stewardship. But, I mean, we have a, a couple beautiful ones. Ah, the problem is their stats just aren't that good. They're not that good. But I would like to convert to the Red God. In that case, is there a better way to do this? If I do this and educate child... These are only people in my court, aren't they? Okay, so we can't do it that way. We need to go character finder. Right, let's go to everyone. We're going to go inside diplomatic range. We need red god. Uh, and we're going to sort by stewardship. There we go. This is how we're doing it. Andrew is up there. He is up there. King Andrew the Red Stack. Look at that beard. Oh, oh mighty beard. I wish I could grow one like that. Uh, Danos is the best here. 27 stewardship and no one else even comes close. Deceitful, ambitious, and stubborn. Hmm. Let us see. Can I offer you a ward? Uh, I'm going to send you Wolfgang. Wolfgang is stewardship, right? Yes, Wolfgang is stewardship. Let us send you this, man. Wait. Can you not... Oh, he can't educate him himself? Is that because he's already educating to... He might already be educating... Ah, uh, he's already got two wards. Okay, the next best man is Hector then. Hector isn't educating anyone. Ah, uh, sadistic, honest, and fickle, though. 
Mm, what about Princess Daria? I mean, she's of House Baratheon. I feel like this one makes a bit more sense. You were Stannis' daughter. I think this one makes sense. I like this one because we, we might have at least spoken to her a few times, realistically. She's trusting, just, patient, and stubborn. I'm also just, so there's a bit more crossover here. Yeah, I'm going to ask her to educate my, my son and heir. Right, where where is he? Wolfgang, you're going to King's Landing. Because she is in King's Landing. Let us convert his faith. We shall do this. And then we need a learning character. Jian. Very, very good learning. Let us see. She is ruthless, content, and just. She is also just, so a little bit of cross over here. Um, I wonder, though. Actually, I might give this one to King Andrew because he has 21 learning. Um, he doesn't have any wards. He's already considering a proposal. Okay, let's unpause. He'll deal with this proposal, and then we'll send him my other son. My sons are going off to King's Landing. They grow up so fast. Wait, wait, wait. He insta arrived? Oh, did... Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How did that work out? Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, Aaron. Yes, Aaron uh, and you. He will accept. Convert the faith. Very nice. Very nice. Right, I'm sending both my sons off to King's Landing. Uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to them. Oh, let's stretch. Oh, message retracted. I didn't see it. To the center boy Jacob. I'd be happy to educate your son, Aaron Bloomfield. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Very nice. The Baratheons will educate my children. Liege has won the war. Maybe he needed my help. A grand wedding for House Caswell. I think we would decline. Now let's kindly decline. We, we are preparing for war. I cannot be going off to a grand wedding right now. To blindly chase a wild creature, launching arrow after arrow, or suffering ever harder. Uh, third, uh, spurring. <laughs> Futile laughs of Lord Waldemar of Castle Floris, my renowned knight. Beasts can be cunning. They sent for stalker... Uh, on approach. Scattering before the hunting pack and turn violent when cornered. Bringing down quarries means knowing them and their wilderness well. And once the horn is sounded, never relenting. The most skilled hunters is Waldemar. In his company, I am coming to know the ways of the seven who are once creatures and the ways of outwitting them. I have become a hunter now. Prowess plus one. Very nice. We have a lot of bloody traits, you know. Look at this. Brilliant general, eagle, reveler, hunter, military engineer, excommunicated, handsome, scarred, a knight, a poet, a social figure, increases the scale of power swings from special relations by leveling up the popular popularity among peers trait path. Oh. Is this a Game of Thrones unique thing? I've never seen this before. Uh, we are a Hastaluda, a, a traveler, and a trained fighter. <laughs> There's a lot of bloody stuff I can hear. Uh, please check marriages to find powerful knights. Uh, we'll do that in a second. I think I'm actually doing kind of okay on knights, though. Yeah, we're doing kind of okay on knights at the moment, but we'll, we'll do that. To the hands of Jacob, your son Aaron has safely arrived in the Iron Throne, and I should begin his lessons forthwith. Very good, very good. Uh, uh, do you know what I might do, though? Do you know what I might do? Unmarried female, yes, yes, yes. I might even... Let's see, find spouse. Can I sort by, sort by age? So we can get children as well. I might keep this as the Red God. Maybe we can get some champions who follow the Lord of Light. They're not very strong, though. Uh, that's the problem. Yeah, they're not very strong. I mean, look at this man. Much, much stronger. Fairly free prowess. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. We're preparing for war. Aldric, you're comely. 28 prowess. Welcome. Welcome to my ranks, my friend. I like this. It's almost like you're, you're recruiting, right? Before you go to war. It's like pulling up banners, pulling up propaganda. 41 prowess. Welcome. Randall. There will be much fighting to be had. Um, Alana. Let's find you a nice husband. Let's go prowess again. Kemet. He's already in my court. You're in my knight. Bowen. 20 prowess. Welcome. He's robust as well. And then my court smith. Let us see. Let us see. John Flagg. He's ugly. <laughs> he's hideous. But he's got fairly free prowess. Welcome. Many great champions of the realm. Hopefully this is a claim on the duchy. Mr. Every Trait should be Jacob's nickname. Law. <laughs> yeah. Right. Excellent stuff. And we haven't even been trying for traits as well. We, we just play and whatever happens, happens. Uh, to the hands of Jacob, I accept your marriage proposal. Okay. Let's skip through all these. Because we're about to get a lot of them. Oh, did I not marry her off matrilineally? I didn't. Okay. Uh, the wilderness is calling out to me. It's been too long since I last hunted. Out there in the plains of Brightwater, there are plenty of devious foxes. One of those would do well on my dinner table tonight. 
Something is missing, though. Are my hunting spears too old and dull? Or is it a companion I like? I should make sure to prepare well. A hunting dog. Yes. We gained another prowess. Very nice. Uh, we are in debt, though. Uh, let us see. I need a new... Quartzsmith. Let us go ahead and recruit Randu. One of my new court members. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we're in debt, but that'll be sold in one month. As I pet the dog on the head, she happily works her tail. What name would suit her? Something historical. Something colluding to her white fur. It is an important decision, and as the dog rolls over to let me pet her stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. I know what I will name her. I will name her after my dear mother, Margaid. I lost my father when I was a young boy, and my mother a few years later. I will honor my mother. What a great name. What a great name. And we gain another prowess. 36 prowess. We're getting strong. Not as strong as my, my grandfather, but we're getting there. A grand tournament? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm waiting for war now. I don't have time for grand tournaments. We must prepare. We must train. Martial perk available. Peacemaker? I, I don't like this one, but it, it gets us towards Gallant. <laughs> and Lord Jasper has been excommunicated. <laughs> it's even a new set now. We have the Tranquil one. It's not even the same sept excommunicating people. They're just going crazy. Uh, there's, there's a lot of excommunication happening. Please, give me the duchy claim. Ah, it didn't work. I love looking at my family's Facebook group just to see what bullcrap conspiracy fever they believe in. <laughs> yeah, spill the tea, spill the tea. Do you know what? I, I deleted Facebook. Must be like three years ago now. Oh my gosh. It improved my happiness so much. <laughs> I do not miss Facebook one bit. Ah, uh, guys, we just cannot get a claim on the duchy. It's, it's not happening. I don't know why. We'll, we'll, we'll try again. We'll try again. I believe we can do it. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away from all others. He throws his head and stomps his hooves, displaying his powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I have never seen such a war horse before, but the stable master assist fairly is impossible to train. I am not one to back down from a challenge. The horse pins his ears back as I approach. His disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn his trust and respect. And I need to decide how to go about it. A steady hand is required to tame the beast. It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I have earned his trust, he seems almost fond of me. I will keep him as my personal war horse. But just like that, we gain another prowess. We gain a war horse and a perk. Amazing. Uh, we have now become gallant as well. <laughs> uh, so even more martial, even more prowess and prestige. Attraction opinion. Very nice, very nice. Uh, what should I call the horse? The name inspired by history. Should we call him Balerian? For the great dragon of Aegon the Conqueror? I think we should. For I want to conquer the... Oh, God's grief. For the first Storm King. To honor Stannis a little bit. I think we're going to go God's grief. Let's go with God's grief. Also, how long is this going to take? Mm, it tells me in here, right? 22 months. Two years every time. Considering it's five years for a truce, and if we take a county at a time, I still think if we get a duchy claim in the next few attempts, it should still be fast, even though it's taken us a little bit. Uh, Trump stole the election. Earth is flat. <laughs> Earth is flat. Aliens somehow rigged the election. UK is not real. I, I can assure you, as a, as a British citizen, the UK is, in fact, not real. That's some of the theories they believe. That's what Brexit was all about, you see. We never existed, but we need a, a formal and lawful way to separate ourselves. And so when we disappeared from Europe, then everyone knew. It's not as suspicious when Britain disappeared. Because it never existed in the first place. I can confirm this. YouTube are going to ban me now because I've leaked everything. Um, just like the other children his age, my son and heir, Wolfgang, sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicions with his sweet demeanor and people always forgive him when he gets caught. He is charming. Diplomacy and intrigue. Well, he's going stewardship. That's fine. It's fine. He's got a good teacher. Um, that's part of the fun when you guys pick the education. Don't know what we're going to get. Let's see. My wife is pregnant again. 22. Guys, I play slow. <laughs> Not many years about... The ravens have arrived. Lord Joshua of Dawn has risen up against King Andrew of the Iron Throne in the Dissolution War. I must choose to stand with King Andrew of the Iron Throne. Join Lord Joshua of Dawn or stay neutral and let the tide of time guide my decision. 
Lord Paramount Perseon has chosen to support the rebels. Ah, that's Perseon, of course, of course. Um, he is a fearless ravener. Guys, we were close to Stannis. I owe my allegiances to King Andrew, the Red Stag. Let us see. Can I can I see who is already involved? I can. Oh, the Targaryens. The Reach. Oh, boy. Do I betray the Reach? The Tarleys? The Tarleys are betraying the Tyrells. The Tarleys have joined Stannis, the Baratheons. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Let's pause. Let's pause. Um, let's stay neutral for now because we can join through this menu, can't we? Um, no, I'm not giving you more men because I'm not joining you. Um, already gets enough. Yeah, let, let's stop a second. Right, right. Who's here? They're the loyalists. So the Stormlands are joining. The Tarleys have joined. Uh, okay, no one else of significance. Over here, uh, the Reach has joined. The Targaryens. Even the Greyjoys. Interesting, interesting. 93,000 to 64,000. That's worrying. That's very worrying. Well, I must join the Baratheons. I will join the Loyalists. My wife. It is time I go to war. Wait, now he's my direct liege. Can I, um... Can I, can I adopt Faith easier? No! Damn it! Uh, oh, it's much, much cheaper, though. Oh, we might be able to do this, then. Okay. It is time, lads! It is time. We are loyal to the Iron Throne. We are loyal to Stannis' bloodline. He has shown me great respect. He showed my grandfather great respect. Should a stage neutral? No. We respect the Baratheons. They are guiding us to the Lord of Light. Educating my children. It is time we fight. We are a big kingdom. We have 10,000 men. We have three high lordships. We cannot stay neutral. We are big. We matter. We matter. It's time. Oh, this is scary. Okay, the the, the immediate thing I'm scared of is this 27,000. Ah, no, we can beat them. They, they have like no men. Uh, no men at arms. Yeah, I have way more men at arms. I will lead the men myself, I think. I will lead the men myself. Let us raise the armies. In fact, we are the best commander. 39 commander advantage. It's about to get spicy. The red stag looks like a great heiress to second. He really does, doesn't he? When I pointed out the beard earlier, that's all I thought. Like, look at the beard. Man, I wish I had a beard like this in real life. Ah, there's only one thing I wish in life is to have a proper beard. <laughs> Popcorn time. Indeed it is. Six days to raise the men. Oh, I knew exciting stuff was going to be happening. Maybe that's why we didn't get the duchy claim. I can declare war on House Darkdale. Uh, you have a claim, do you? Yeah, but only for a county. Well, let's ignore that. I was intrigued. Ah, uh, you're joining. They have joined us. Wait, wait. Have you really? They have. Wow. Even my vassals are rising up. This is so cool. This is such a big war. Okay, okay, okay. So how are the numbers? 89,000 versus 80,000. That's not a big difference. I wonder if I can take on the reach solo. Ah, uh, 20,000 more men. But it's all levies. It's all levies, guys. I have a lot of men-at-arms, look. 1,100 archers. 400 pikemen, which counters all of their men-at-arms. Maybe we do it. Maybe we do it. Can I get here? I can, I can, I can. Um, I want to see where their armies are. I'm going to keep it on free time speed as well. We're going to take this slowly. Uh, uh, last thing I want is to misclick. Click. The Tarleys have risen as well. Greetings, my handsome vassal. Ah, you charmer. You charmer, Andrew. Uh, you have been loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I am hereby offering you the position of Spymaster. Spymaster? <laughs> uh, listen, I would have been a way better steward or marshal, but you do you, I guess. Um, hostile scheme power. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I'll take it though, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you for the honor. I will serve you loyally. I will serve you loyally. Oh, I like getting involved in these big wars. This is the first one that kind of makes sense for us to do this. Uh, the Tarleys, I guess, are just going to siege Reachlands. I don't think the Reach have risen their army yet. Or if they have, where did they raise it? Not around here. All oh, the Greyjoys are here. Only levies. 
Oh, that's so unfair. Oh, they can sail all the way up here. Okay, I mean, I can't do anything about that. We're going to siege this. 13 months is not long at all, actually, to siege the capital of the Reach. We will do this. Lord Titus of Maidenpool has joined the Dissolution War as allies. More, more loyalists are joining us. In fact, we outnumber them. 91,000. No, we're this side now. 85,000. <laughs> um, there we go. Very fun. The Talis are coming to help us. They are coming to help us. My vassals are here to help us. I think after this siege, I'm going to link up with uh, Andrew. And then we will follow him around and help with the big wars. Do not forget about the rebels from Old Town. True, true, true. True. Have they joined the war? Um, they've stayed neutral in this war, at least. We're, we'll ignore Old Town for now. Because we do have a few ties with them, historically. Um, but we'll, we'll see if we respect that or not. Okay, the Talis are going off. 175 gold. Thank you very much. That's going to help uh, the war efforts. It's amazing that we don't go into debt, actually. Oh, Floris, you have been so brave, so strong. Another son. And he's beautiful. No, he's handsome, just like me. <laughs> right, guys, you know the drill. First name and education focus in the same message. <laughs> Androw or Andros. Uh, let's go Andros. I'm like an Andros. Andros, my child, welcome to the world. You were born in a time of war. And thus, you will be trained a marshal. Very nice choice. Let's go with Marshall. We'll find him an educator after the war. Remind me to do that. Remind me to do that. Right, six months left here. We're doing fine. I just want to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Just so we can keep an eye on enemy any enemies. The Targaryens are here. The Tyrells are over here. Okay, so they raised their men and just went here before I could. Are they fighting? Andrew is here. Uh, okay, they're fighting the Targaryens. 9,000 men here. They have a lot of men at arms. Our knight, Lord Edric. Wounded Lord Bartimus. Very nice, very nice. Our champions are doing very good. Very good. Look at that. The first battle has been won. We are winning the war. We are winning the war easily. All oh, the Greyjoys caught um, House Maidenpool, though. Uh, House Mutant, I think that is, right? Yeah, they've been wiped out, which is unfortunate. The Tullys have arrived. Do not fear, lads. Do not fear. Ah. Uh, we can keep an eye here. I like how they added icons to the UI, so I don't have to go and look at my siege. I gained a rival. The great Prince Courtenay, the great Stagger, the Iron Throne, is my rival? Wait, what? B -b -b why? Oh, you're the brother of Andrew. Um, oh, crap. Did it say why he became my rival? Um, if I go to his memories... Let's see, uh, this guy, let this guy, if I go memories, my wife Estrid was slain in battle. Did I kill his wife? Oh, <laughs> uh, player kills, I killed his wife. His wife was a great joy. Oh, okay, okay, I get that. That's understandable rivalship. How Targs are doing, by the way. I mean, they're currently losing this war, but they do still have their land. It has become a habit to walk Marg... We're in a siege. I'm not walking my dog. What are you talking about? The Tyrells are about to get attacked now as well. Oh, they're so done. The war's over. Surely. Are they going to catch the Tyrells as well? And I mean, I'm sieging their capital. Look at that. We have sieged the Reach. We took 64 gold from Highgarden. We took a statue as well. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I can ransom Jonas for 100 gold. I'm rich. I'm rich. Okay, let's go ahead and bring our men over to King's Landing. <clears throat> uh, I, I'm going to try and keep it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you taking the path that just gives us a bunch of attrition? Go this way, uh, and then we'll go up there. Oh, we're still going to take attrition. Should I just stay sieging over here, then? Um, Let's just stay sieging over here. I mean, we're already here, so why not? Yeah, two months left on this. It's very quick. We don't have to come here, I don't think, because we're still getting war score. No, we're not. We're not gaining war score. So where do we have to, to siege to gain war score from held objectives? I don't actually know. Maybe it's just so little because there's so many things. I mean, they're still chasing them down. The Targaryens are getting chased down here. We, we can look at the Targaryens now. They have been uh, allowed to live on Dragonstone, but now... <laughs> Right now, they're in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I need to go siege Dawn. Okay, I might go down to Dawn then. 
They still have 20,000 men. They are... A, mm, they're quite strong. Men at arms. I have pikemen, though. Let us finish this siege, because it was only two months anyway. In fact, we could link up with these armies. Uh, let's finish the siege. It's almost done. And then we're going to go this way. They're being chased down. <laughs> Imagine we managed to cut them off. And then uh, our allies can join as well. Would be nice. Would be nice. Okay, right. We're siege this. Another 18 gold. We took another prisoner. Very nice. Let's ransom him. Our efforts are going very well so far. Um, I think we can go here. Yeah, let's go here. Where is everyone else going? Ah, fog of war, I think. Fog of war. Okay. Targaryens are here. The Tyros must be close. Enemy ally has joined the war. The Greyjoy Lord died from his wounds. Now they're being ruled by an eight-year-old. Is Theon still alive, I wonder? We'll have to check that in a moment. Hello, I finally managed to watch your streams live. Hello, Supreme Phantom Hive. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's a goose chase. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Good timing to join the stream. We're fighting for King Andrew. There's the Tyrells. Um, are you guys still coming down here? I'll sit here because then we have a river crossing. I will probably lose. Guys, I found Dawn. Oh, crap. Um, Andrew. <laughs> no, they're leaving. Oh, fudge. Andrew, <laughs> please come back. I have no choice but to fight. The Battle of Cider Crossing. We have 36 advantage. Men, stand by me. We will not surrender. We will stand strong. They outnumber us. Five to one. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, we stand no chance. I think we could have beat the Tyrells. Holy crap. They came out of nowhere. Oh, allied combatants have been captured. Okay. How bad was that in general? We lost 4,000. Oh, dear. Luckily, I didn't get killed. I, I managed. We killed Lady Eldera of Dawn from House Air Mertens. Uh, my vassal was captured. Ugh. I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> uh, okay, let's dismiss that. Yeah, that, that was dangerous. Right, we're going to go back. Uh, maybe we embark and sail around to meet up with the other armies. We could replenish a little bit as well. Right, Marshall Perk is available. Let's go down Strategist. Cassus Belly cost is reduced. We need to start getting bus for the army. That was outnumbered like five or six to one. Luckily, no one important died, which is nice. Protector of the Hills needs a successor now, though. Um, do I have a good successor? Mern. Oh, you're not very good, Mern. Well, uh, it's better than losing. It's better than losing this. Yeah, Mern, you're going to have to be a champion, my friend. Because I need you to serve as a successor. Uh, alliances, we're not going to do those. Oh, we lost half of our men at arms. The Greyjoys are coming back. <laughs> uh, let us go back to our capital. They shouldn't attack us. Where are our allies? Okay, they're over here. Can you replenish an allied territory? I think you can. So let us go and embark. That's going to cost us 25 gold. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we have plenty of supply. I'm going to sail around here. We're, we've got to go all the way around. That's a long bloody way, isn't it? Should we speed that up? <laughs> Let's speed that up. And then we'll slow back down when we get over there. Holy crap. 86 supply. Yeah, the supply will last. Lord Joshua has formed a new alliance. With House Dondarrion. That's a really, really cool banner. Okay. Uh, Randon, uh, Rondon brought my ward Dermot to the market today. Dermot was to hand out arms to the poor and needy to learn about charity. And a ruler's plight to the less fortunate. The scatterbrained child couldn't decide who to give the gold to, Rondon says, visibly annoyed. At the end, he had given one coin to the one-legged Naperer, and one to a blind urchin, used another coin to buy pudding, gave one to me, of all people, and lost the last one in a ditch. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, he's become fickle. <laughs> that's not my son, though, so that's fine. Ah, We're not getting a claim on the duchy. Faction created against King Andrew, the peasant rabble. Okay, nothing too serious. We can do with peasants. Uh, let's slow down again as well, because we're almost at King's Landing. We still have very good supply, too. Uh, I think. Yeah, 73 supply. It lasted a long time. And there is fighting over here. Now, the trick is we're going to have to disembark without getting a penalty. Are they going to win this? Oh, yeah, we're the red line. Okay. In fact... Yeah, let's disembark first. We, we don't have to join that right away. 
If I remember correctly, red wine fleet sails this distance for two bucks. Well, that's a long way, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine how long that would take? Do you know, I've never been... No, that's a lie. I've been on a boat once, but not a proper boat. It was like one of those little tourist boats in London where it takes you around London. Um, but never a proper boat. I want to go on a proper boat, but I want to go on like an old wooden sail ship. But probably not possible anymore. Uh, my master at arms, Malon, very hesitantly brings my guest, Matthew, to me. Lord Wyman has asked me to promote Matthew to the honour of commandership. Haven't I been asked this before? And I said no. If you want to make Andrew a commander, bloody train him yourself. Uh, where do we see recently disembarked penalty? Over here. Okay, so we've got 20 days. And then that's gone. They absolutely destroyed them. Look at that. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Are we replenishing? Uh, Andrew, help. Okay, no, no, they're just retreating. Okay, we're going to go over here. Um, I might attach myself to one of uh, Andrew's armies if I can catch up to them. They're, they are very, very fast. Faster than me. Okay, they're fighting. Let's try and get involved in that. Never mind, the fight is over. 67%. <laughs> we're going to win the war, I think. Okay. Uh, one of his... No, his armies are going this way. Let us try and catch up. We will catch up. I am walking, out walking Margate when suddenly I see Lord Ronald Sharpoint approaching me with a beautiful brown dog. Before either of us can react, Margate and the other dog take off. Okay, my dog's going to get a friend, I think. I didn't even know that was a possible event. That's interesting. Ah, uh, quick. Okay. Uh, attached to army, the first army of Weatherstruck. Yes. Let us do this. And there we go. We are attached to the army. Andrew will lead us to greatness. I have faith on him. I have faith. In 70s, my aunt sailed four months from Poland to US. Oh, that was that would have been so much fun. It, it feels like exploring, right? I would just love be out beyond the open sea. Um, man. Oh, I love the ocean. It's so beautiful. It's so peaceful. The smell as well. Oh, it's, it's just so nice. Uh, Lord Ronald at sharp point and I find the two dogs after a while in the middle of a vicious fight. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, the dogs don't get along, apparently. Right, we're, we're going to keep following them. Oh, the Targaryens are trying to siege the Red Keep. How long until this war ends? We're not maxed out on battle score, but it's at 50%. How come it doesn't get maxed out here, I wonder? Uh, I, I don't actually know. Uh, I have no idea. Until your ship sinks like the Titanic. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If I was ever a millionaire, guys, I would buy a wooden ship and I would assemble a crew. Of all of you guys. We can go sail. We can do a world tour. It'll be so much fun. Um, of course there would be downs. I don't know. Exploration is fun. I want to be an explorer. I want to be an explorer. That would be my dream. Just explore. We are absolutely kicking. Yeah, okay. It does seem to be capped at 50% though. Because it's not going up anymore. Look at this. 800 for 15,000. Insane. <laughs> absolutely insane. Uh, we're not going down to Dawnville. I mean, I don't think I can siege Dawn alone. Oh, I've become ill. Lord or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours. A dull ache pounding through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. And there are a fair number of suitable remedies. Do no more than what is necessary, my maester. Bastian told me to lie down on my bed and then to offer him my hands. Firmly, he rubbed and slapped my palms until they were red and then repeated the treatment to my souls. As a finishing touch, he pinched me gently up and down my limbs. The odd procedure turned out to be just what I needed. <laughs> Excellent work. Excellent work. Did that say... Bella Treatman because he was a wise man. Okay, we got some artifacts. Oh, we got court artifacts. Yeah, the Reachman statue. That would be a nice one if we ever take control of the Reach. Okay, are we going to siege now? Uh, my counselor died in his sleep. I have a new Septon. Very nice. Does he like me at least? Uh, that's not my Septon. Plus 29. He likes me a little bit. Oh, we're not going to Dawn. Okay. Are they just going to do nothing? Are we getting ticking war score, though? Because we control the held objective. I think so. Let's watch it a little bit. Yeah, we are getting ticking war score. Okay, so the war will end eventually anyway. Very nice. The war is won. The war is won. <clears throat> Renly has uh, improved. We didn't sway Leo, but he's got 70 opinion now. So that's nice. Uh, are we going to go ahead and do with those guys? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. I have lost the trade deal. 
As I woke this morning and observed the first rays of sunshine, it took me a moment to realise I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. I am glad to be well again. Very nice. Very nice. I just noticed YouTube doesn't show how long I've been live for. OBS does. About two hours, though. Right, new Marshall perk. Let us see. Cavalry. Um, I mean, uh, we don't have none of this. I think this is good. Army movement speed is always nice. Mm, and we get some screen for our archers and spearmen. Let's get organized march. That would be very useful. And um, we did just win a battle as well. 197 for 3,800. Very, very nice. Easy. The war is going to be won. I love the High Septon name since they are just nicknames. One time the High Septon was called the Old Goose. <laughs> In the last stream, we had a High Septon called the Gay One. That's probably my favorite one yet. Um, what did we have today? There were some funny ones today. One fair. How do I see this? Faith. Oh, we have the sharp one now. I think the first one is good as well. The fat one. <laughs> I, I love the, the names. Lord Edric the Lightning. Man, I want a cool nickname. I want a cool nickname. I need to earn one though first. We haven't really done anything to earn one. Maybe Andrew can grant me a nickname. After helping fight this. Declare war. <clears throat> and there we go. My brave men. We fought. And we have become victorious. And we have honoured Stannis's <laughs> Stannis's <laughs> line. Are we in war again? As punishment for your crime of treason, King Andrew of the Iron Throne has decreed that Lord Wolfgang of White Dune will be taken as hostage by King Andrew. Wait, what? My crimes of treason? No, I joined him! Oh, that has to be a bug. No way. That has to be a bug in the mod, right? Uh, what do you mean, treason? Is it because I'm a vassal of the Reach and the Reach joined? Ah, come on. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's so frustrating. That's a bug. Ah. Uh, I will accept his judgment. It has been a mis- It's a simple miscommunication. Hopefully he frees him because we have good opinion of one another. Nah, that's frustrating. 100 opinion. Yeah, look, we have really good opinion of one another. That's stupid. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay, we could do a grand tour. Let's not do that yet. Uh, disband the army. I, I'm just going to wait a little bit. To my heartless vassal. Uh, okay, I'm going to become admiral again. Nice. So Wolfgang is... Is he still being educated? He's still being educated by Princess Daria. Eren is being educated by Andrew. Okay. Uh, we need to find an educator for Andros now. He's going martial. So wasn't you going martial as well? I wonder if Princess Daria has room for another ward. She does. But I, it's not going to let me offer her a ward. She can only have one ward apparently. Okay. Let us try and find... Award for my, my other son. What about Princess Argella of the Iron Throne? She has 19 martial. Then again, Andrew. Let's see. Andrew Andrew can educate him. Okay. Andros, you are going to the Red Keep. Have fun, my son. Have fun. You are being educated by a great man. A great man indeed. I think when Wolfgang comes of age, hopefully Andrew returns him back and that gets sorted. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying though, that bug. It's a little bit annoying. We, we, we fought for him. We were so loyal. Also, why the hell does Dawn have land up here? <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, a bit of border. I can understand Stormlands here. Because Baratheons. Uh, a few days ago, Miriel, the learned father of my vassal Anton, took part in an experiment with oil of vertrial concocted by the celebrate alchemist Perimore. Apparently, something went horribly wrong. You must perish Perimore severely, Lord Anson tells me. Behold the wretched state of my father. No, my lord, Perimore begs. I have merely perfected a formula long sought by the wise. It is not my fault that Miriel were careless with a whole ukia of the most corrosive substance yet seen in Westeros. Um, yeah, no one is to blame here. No one is to blame here. He, he didn't follow the dosage recommendations. When I named children in CK3, I named them after things I like. So there was a bloodline whose name's Watermelon. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Andros has arrived in King's Landing. Very good. Very good. How's the fabrication coming along? Seven days. It happened, lads. Finally. Finally. Right, let's put the water away. <laughs> 
my voice is going a little bit. Greetings, Lord Jacob of Brightwater. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Darkter. Indeed, I could even argue you are the rightful lord of the high lordship of Darkdale. We will do it. All of Darkdale will be mine. Lads, we have practice. We have trained for this. We have already fought for one great war. And now we start another. Against the great house Viriel. They do have allies. Oh, allies in the west right nearby actually. Uh, let's see, they go... Oh, their men at arms are a joke. We can beat them easily. And thus, we go from one war into the next. We will take the High Lordship of Darkdown and expand our lands. 40 prestige. Very cheap, very cheap. Um, do I have supplies? 25,000 supply limit. Man, I love the supply limit in this mod. Everything is just much more built up. Especially as in base game, I always play 867. So I'm not used to having so much bloody supply. Uh, I can call on my house member, Wolfgang of the White Dunes. Wait, what? Uh... Wolfgang is landed? Over in Dawn? <laughs> um, okay. Are you still being... You're still being educated by her. Right, right. That's good. That's good. Well, Wolfgang might get himself into a bit of trouble before we take over as him. That's interesting. Um, it adds to the story, though. It adds to the fun, the randomness. Okay, let's raise the men. Should I call any allies? I don't think we need any allies. I will not call Wolfgang. I think we can do this alone. So let us do this alone. Uh, we're going to go straight for their capital, of course. We, we take a little bit of attrition. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I might just go ahead and destroy them. Lord Silos has been excommunicated now. It continues. The excommunication. Oh, wow. That was very fast. <laughs> Let's go down a little bit. Uh, 20 commander advantage. We should wipe them out very easily. Dragon Bone Tower is under siege. How did you guys get there so fast? Uh, we've captured our first prisoners. Very nice. Let's see. How do we do? 110 for 2700. Oh, the whole army is gone. Okay. Let's wipe out, wipe out this army as well. Train for a tournament. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, what do we gain here? I've gained one prowess. Very nice. Very nice. And now we're going to chase down this army. Lord Leo is not swayed. Apparently, Alador spit in my wards. Dermot's food during dinner a few nights ago. It seems as if Dermot is trying to tire Alador out by not reacting to his bullying. No matter how many times Alador calls him a troll spawn or slaps him across the tree. He has become calm. Indeed, he has. You have a claim on... Wait, we have Baratheons over here now? Prince Harris, the Raging Storm, is now my neighbor. Interesting. He's not married. Would you like to marry Dynasty? Where's Dynasty? My Dynasty? Ah, I don't have anyone to marry off. Okay. Like, no sisters or anything. Do I even have sisters? I do have sisters, but they're all married off. Ah, that's unfortunate. If one of them ever becomes single, maybe we can marry her off to him. My vassal, Lord Malin, approaches me, rage in his eyes and dog in his hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As he reaches me, I see the letters of my dear Margate he is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. <laughs> She's just a dog. You should have put your clothes away. You're old enough to know that. Oh, look at this. Absolutely destroyed. Wow. Uh, 47 for a thousand. Very good, very good. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of a my mighty stallion God's grief and others uh, offers his services. What I ask in return is a small compensation. I could make my horse stronger. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. 90 gold. I will pay for a trainer. Uh, and now we can go siege their capital. Now they have no armies. This war is over. Oscar and Grubber uh, is fine since they are normal name, but Kermit and Elmo are the worst name you could give to a person. <laughs> Uh, Elmit or K Elmo or Kermit Tully. That's brilliant. <laughs> At the end of a stream, can you please show the family tree? I can show it now if you want as well. Otherwise, I'll forget. Uh, God's Grief took to his training well and results could be seen immediately. I lost Warhorse and now I have a strong Warhorse. We get more levy size. Very nice. Uh, our dynasty isn't too big right now. 18 living members. Actually, it's doing better. This is our whole dynasty here. And of course... The woman's 
have been married off to great houses too. Many great houses. House Peak. The House Piper. House Red Wine even. House Sawyer. House Beesbury. <laughs> That's my favourite house. But yeah, the, the, the family tree is uh, blooming. House Bloomfield is doing very well. And it all started with Lord Edgar here. My great grandfather. No, my grandfather. My great grandfather was the, the character before him in the lore. But yeah, we're, we're growing. We're not too far into the game, actually. It's only 347. Uh, when does the game start? Like 288 or something like this? So we haven't been playing for too long, actually. Uh, even though it's the fourth straight. I, I play very slowly. You guys know this by now. But I like to embrace the lore. I like to take my time. Right, let's see, Dredge. Lady Diana's Feast. No, thank you. I'm in war. How long to take this? Three months. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. I've lost my wet nurse, though. My counselor died of old age. What's happening? Everything's happening. To a handsome Jacob, I've discovered that Lord Waldemar's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Increase the taxes, then, my lad. Increase the taxes. So I need a new admiral. Lord Mallon, my vassal. Yeah. He doesn't like me, and he's a powerful vassal, so I'll give it to him. Hopefully, that will help uh, opinion want and whatnot. Uh, I also need a new wet nurse. Let's recruit you. And I think we're all back. Potential... Ah, Wolfgang. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get an alliance with my son. I forgot about this. Completely forgot about this. Uh, we'll slow things down again now. There we go. My son. Ruling is very hard. I will assist you in any way I can. Just make sure to listen to your educators. Your guardians, they are very wise, very wise. My wife is pregnant once more, very nice. We have had only sons so far, by the way. Insane. Uh, it would be nice to have a daughter, just to have a bit of diversity. And there we go, we finished sieging at 27 gold. We're going to have to siege more, though, so let's carry on the sieging. Your liege has passed the high crown authority law. Uh, I have absolute crown authority. My Leo Bannerman! You are hereby ordered to seize all hostilities against Lord Suen. It is my will that there be peace amongst my vassals, and that they comport themselves with dignity befitting their noble station. I will not have our lands torn apart by war. It's interesting how your stance has changed. You were, you were happy to rebel against our true king. And now I am not allowed to take lands I rightfully have claims on. Lord Persian, I do not respect you. I will ignore your words. I am well within my rights. In my war. Get out of it if you don't like it. How about you come with you come to me? Face me on the battlefield. I will ask for a pardon, though. <laughs> uh, Andrew will give me a pardon. Look at that. I have ties with the king. You can do nothing, Persian. You have no power here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Uh the other G uh funny name is when Ariane's friends in the Queen Maker chapter have names like horses. Dre like Dre horse, Garen like Garen horse. <laughs> uh, prisoners taken in siege, very nice. Let's ransom them off. 30 gold, eh? Uh, 10 gold here as well. Nope, same person, there we go. I don't know why the UI is so delayed um, with prisoners ransoming. Lord Bayard has now been excommunicated. Oh dear. It, it carries on, it carries on. We're all going to convert to the Red God at this rate. Speaking of which, I should probably go on a pilgrimage, get that piety we need, so then we can convert to the Red God. Oh, good idea. Okay, let's chase these guys down. There we go. That army's destroyed again. 30 for 500. Our knight Kemet Geatrion chopped Albon into pieces. Very strong. Let's go ahead and chase this as well. I can ransom you now. It's all coming together. We are very strong. I think we can take the reach soon. Like, soon as in probably a future stream. <laughs> Your vassal, Lord Turquin, recently found himself in a bit of trouble. Lady Floris smiles attentively as she continues. I made sure that the situation resolved itself. I mentioned you as a benefactor. Thank you, my wife. Excellent work. We get a hook on him. My vassal. Can I change his contract, then? Um, which one was this? Hooks and secrets. Can I modify your contract? Give me more taxes. Ah, I can't, because it's already been changed. He's already changed his contract, I think. Because there's no way I would have willingly give him low taxes. I just don't see that as a possibility. Let's wipe these out. How are we doing here? Ah, we already have max battle school, but... I guess it's good to get rid of their armies so they can't do anything. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, is that a castle? No, that's not a castle. That's a castle. Let's go take this castle. We captured more combatants as well. We are victorious once more. 30 losses for 400. We are too strong. 
Too strong. Let's see if we have any good knights in our prison as well. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not very... Oh, you're impressive though. I will recruit you as a knight. What about you? They're nah, not very impressive. Eleanor Flowers. Hmm. Dickon Tonard. <laughs> well, it? Oh, I can banish him to the wall and take his money. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mariner, you've been here a while, haven't you? Yeah, you've been here a while as well. There we go. Very nice. We've got some money. Declare me regent. Lord Jacob of Brightwater designates Master Gallon of Brunner as his future regent. I'm going to decline, but thanks for reminding me. Um, if I go by succession score, my wife is actually, yeah, she's selfless and she has the highest score. So I'm going to designate her and then people won't ask me about that again. Very nice. Things are going good. The fifth child should be called Egg. That is tradition in Westeros. Ah, then you're going to have to get in quick, but only after it is born. There are rules for naming. <laughs> JBD, keep up the good work. I love looking forward to seeing you. Out there. Ah, thank you, Silas. Thank you. Do you know what? That's the, the best thing about YouTube is when someone leaves a like or a nice comment, that's the best part of it. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Lord Jacob of Brightwater. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Because all I want is to spread fun and maybe make someone's day a little bit better. So it always makes me happy when I, I know I'm on the right path. Right, let's enforce our demands. We've won the war. We could demand a hostage. We could demand a hostage, because we're not fighting against him again. He would not accept them. But he has to accept, surely. Uh, which one is your eldest? Ah, uh, oh, we could have just hovered and checked. Um, I would demand a hostage. Yeah, you're eight. What do you mean he won't accept? He's lost the war. I'm the one with all the bargaining chips here. Okay. <laughs> we're not going to demand a hostage. Very well. We we'll enforce our demands, for. Is it because it wasn't 100% war score, maybe? Could be. To the sensible Jacob, I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. And off to the night's watch he goes. Farewell, Dickon. Thank you for your gold. It is very appreciated. <clears throat> to my lead, peace be with you. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to its bloodshed, I will complain with demand. So be it. And thus we have expanded. Brightwater is looking rather large now. We're bit even bigger than Golden Grove. So what I need that old oh, faction created against me. They are not willing to bow easily. No. Uh, my aunt-in-law, I can get an alliance with her. She's in Dawn. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and an alliance with my, my other aunt-in-law. Uh, but she's not interested. Okay. I think it's important for our family to stick together. That's how we get stronger. Uh, I can't ask. Because I'm excommunicated, I'm never going to get claims on this. But what we could do... Ah, I was thinking of something earlier. What was I thinking of that needed money? Pilgrimage. Let's go on a pilgrimage first. Yes. I need the piety. Uh, we're going on a pious pilgrimage. Uh, and where are we going? We could go to Visenya's Hill. Piety activity reward plus 150%. I, uh, yeah, let's go to Visenya's Hill. We can go visit my sons. They are in King's Landing. Being educated, of course. Okay, so we increase this. We can't. <clears throat> um, I can increase this, though. Ah, much more piety upon completion. 329 gold. And we're going for... Uh, altruism. Because that increases piety even more. And we're going to get a bunch of XP as well. So on the way back... Let's see. On the way back, after Visenya's Hill, I want to go here. And then after here, I want to get this bonus. Uh, we already have this one. Yes, we're going to get these two bonuses. A stewardship uh, and martial experience. Right, let's apply that. I know we don't believe in the faith anymore. They betrayed us. But we need piety so we can convert to the Lord of Light. We will begin our pilgrimage. Hopefully this faction doesn't fire. Uh, in the meanwhile, what I could do, in fact, it's only him. Um, it's only him. I wonder. Is there anything I could do here? Hmm, I could murder him. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just. Let's not murder him. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but we've expanded our territory. We are much bigger. We should also start the fabricating of a claim over on the ocean road, I think. Let us try and expand over here. That's going to take 21 months. We need a claim on the whole duchy again. 
And thus, we are beginning on our pilgrimage. So it's basically like I'll go to Mecca to convert to Christianity. Exactly, exactly. We're going to put on a facade. It's okay, though. It's, it's okay with the roleplay because we're going to Vesenius Hill. And Andrew himself serves the Red God. Maybe there's a secret cult here. It's a secret cult. This is where we get converted to the Red God. That's what I'm going with. Anyway... All the while, preparing for my journey, I have had this sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be alright. I am pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to King's Landing in order to get even closer to the Lord of Light. And now, more than ever, I feel certain that he will watch over me on my travels. Let us go. On this long journey to King's Landing, my sons have all made the journey. Now I shall make the journey. I will visit them, see how they're doing in their studies. And hopefully, it will be a pious trip and we can convert faiths. Oh, it's gonna get spicy now. Does that mean we could do holy wars after? Yeah, that'll make things easier. As my entourage travels through a small town, I feel a tug on the hem of my clothes. Turning to look, I see a thin, raggedy man staring up at me. Didn't they remove holy wars in this mod, actually? Uh, oh, great lord, I beg of you. Could you spare some coins for a poor beggar? I am starving, and none of the locals will aid me. Though generosity is not in my nature. Being on pilgrimage reminds me that the charity is expected from all devout worshippers of the seven. Ah, in, because I just want to convert to the Lord of Light. I think we should do this. I will donate. I will gain the piety. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Thank the seven who are one. They will not help you, my friend. One day you will see the true faith. You will join the Lord of Light as well. Um, more gold? Uh, okay. You, 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 you. No. <laughs> Is that an infinite event that just keeps asking for gold? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Word of my arrival seems to have spread to the Lordship of Cat's Claw, as our entourage is soon beset with countless serfs begging to be blessed with a royal touch. Uh, I could, of course, simply sprinkle a little water blessed by myself upon them, and they would surely be satisfied, but granting them blessed coins to soothe their infected areas would keep them happy and blessed for much longer. 185 I can't afford that. We spent all of our gold. Uh, we'll do this one. A sprinkling of water should satisfy them. We gain secret search for five years. Development growth. Very nice. We are... Are we increasing development? We are. We are. Um, our capital is going to become very rich. Until we take Highgarden. And then we move to Highgarden. I enter the Lordship of Henry. Ready to bestow my royal touch upon the local peasantry. I am immediately faced with what is undoubtedly the most wretched creature I have ever laid eyes upon. Oh dear. Pneumonia, lover's pox and consumption. He's only 21. My friend, I, I think you're screwed. As much as I am low to even be in the presence of this pungent diseased pauper, it is said that my touch can even heal the most unseemly illnesses. Uh, there's a chance for me to become ill. Perhaps a light touch on the forehead will do. Yeah, I I'll give him a, a light touch. Oh, I don't get the development. They do. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to touch him too much. Otherwise, we might get ill, and that, that's not good. That's not good. My master at arms, Malon, very hesitantly brings my guest, Willem, to me. No, my army is not a nursery. We're, we've had this many events, many times now, this event. Also, all those guys just look the same. Did you see them? I, I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great sept of the Senya's Hill. Ma'am. I can't wait for them to add custom artwork to stuff like this. I do believe think it's I do think it's possible. It would be so cool. As the Septon offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had to happen for the seven who are one to bring me here at this moment in time. I have become a pilgrim, which gains me even more piety and travel speed. Very nice. Uh, all of my entourage members gain the trait pilgrim as well. And I lose a little bit of stress, which is nice too. Yeah, look at that. This guy looks exactly like me. <laughs> oh, we have had a daughter, right guys? First name and education focus. And she is pretty as well. Look at that. I have just received news by Raven on my pious pilgrimage that my wife has given birth to a beautiful daughter. We're going with Lucy and we're going with learning. Very well. Welcome to the world, Lucy. Welcome to the great Bloomfield dynasty. Let us pin you. We'll keep an eye on you. Uh, and we'll go with learning. Uh, remind me to find her a guardian when we get back from the pilgrimage. Uh, let's see. You are engaged in the pilgrimage for three months. Oh, so we get some cool events here as well. Very nice. As I enter the sacred grounds, I find Pierce staring at the altar with an absent expression. Ah, oh, he's my courtier. Um, Pierce, I call him. 
My lord, he says unfazed, I have something to ask from you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought inconceivable. The seven who are one have spoken to me. And his voice is clear, severe, precise. It keeps going and going and going. The only sound I can hear now. The whole world has gone quiet. If I could stay behind, I would like to devote my life to it. Pierce, my friend, now is not the time. Drop this nonsense immediately. I will guide you to the Lord of Light, my friend. He has become my rival, but in time he will see my wisdom. Also, I think the music just stopped. Oh, no, it's just very quiet, okay. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that one going then. Right, back to the pilgrimage. Back to the pilgrimage. He will forgive me. He will forgive me. He will learn to accept the Lord of Light into his heart too. Okay, we gained a Marshall pack. Let's get hit and run. That sounds nice. I'm liking that a lot. Very good. Also, let's go over here because that's where the pilgrimage is. Ah, oh, look at the models. I love the map models. Even the open gates. Okay, the gates are actually closed. The gates are closed. Well, let us go and return to the pilgrimage. The markets of Vicenius Hills are bustling with merchants shouting in languages that I've never heard and selling spices that I've never tasted. This guide of the pilgrim, learn the safest routes, discover the marvels of Vicenius Hill, one of them yells, waving a small book in my direction so I can become more pious. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, let's do this. The pilgrimage becomes more pious. And we could gain local expert for 10 years. We get even more piety per month. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> My water has almost run out. <laughs> uh, Join our pilgrimage to King's Landing. I cannot help but return to a local market. Pursuing the wares. One stand in particular catches my attention. The merchant grins at me and proclaims, I have the wares in my lord has the coin. These exotic goods presented will surely make a nice profit back home. Or maybe I could even send them as a gift. 185 got. We can't afford that. Um, exotic wares. Ooh. Or we could make the pilgrimage more pious. No, 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 no. We want to go more pious. I need more piety. Oh, my back is hurting. <laughs> my posture is poor. To make my uncle Lord Leo more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. Um, do you know what? We have 95 opinion. I'm actually going to stop swaying him. Um, what I could do instead is probably sway Malon because he's a minus opinion. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Also, we're up to four domain holdings now. Two days and the pilgrimage will end. As our time at this sacred site draws to an end, I feel reassured that while I may not have been the most pious pilgrim out there, I have proven my dedication to the Father above in more ways than one. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly like, I feel confident that I am more familiar with what to expect from this type of spiritual journey in the future. It has been an honor, and thus we return home 1,000 piety. And now I believe we have enough to convert to the Lord of Light. My friend of House Peak has died. His son has taken over. We no longer have an alliance either. It has expired. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I can't get an alliance with you yet either. That's fine. Let us return home. For we must convert to the Lord of Light very soon. Uh, the high altitude and the brisk air of Great Fork has very refreshing quality as we traverse the local hill fort. I ogle the soldiers training below with a keen eye. Their tactics are not completely foreign to me. <clears throat> Trained in the martial arts. As I am. While doing so, I am approached by the local Captain John. Would you like to join him, my lord? Ah, John, eh? I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> oh, I oh, I can't afford that. That's a lot of gold. Unfortunately, we are in a hurry, my friend. I've already spent my gold helping the local peasantry. Have I married off my children yet? Not yet. I tend to wait until they're a little bit older, just so my theory is then you have... Because I don't mind marrying, like, say, like, five or so years up. But if I wait a little bit, I can also marry, like, five or so years down. The the prospects for marriage are bigger, if that makes sense. But we, we can look. When we find an education for Lucy, let us see if we can find a marriage. Probably with the Baratheons. I really want to solidify an alliance there. As we traverse the highlands, trudging through the dirt, we encounter a modest wayward shrine. Naively carved, it sports a seven-pointed star at its head. And below the weathered words, here lies St. Randall Tumbleton, blessed son of Bornhill. Cast it down. The Lord of Light will rule these lands one day. 
We will destroy the faith of the seven. News reaches me that my half-brother Griffiths has been made a knight. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Good for him. He is doing the dynasty proud. Teeming with all manner of wildlife, Giles and I agree that Castle Claw Town would be a splendid place to go on a hunt. While we do not have any time to stay for a proper outing as we traverse the area, I spot a pristine wild rabbit at the edge of the forest. It has peculiar markings on its fur and I motion to Giles to survey the animal. As he spots the rabbit, he grins. What would you say to a friendly wager, my host? Whoever strikes that pristine fellow with an arrow wins. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, Giles. You are a fool. I have won. It was fun. Thank you for your gold. I've also gained a rabbit's foot. Uh, do you know what I might do that? I might give that to my son. Uh, a fine day like this, the weather is nice. The pastures of cat's claw look great. And the local livestock are positively jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. Calves are walking next to their mothers. Their fur shiny and clean. Overall, the place is very completely run. Competently run. Although I do notice a couple of oddities that I would manage a bit differently. The local patriarch approaches me. A fine morning to you, my lord. Are these beauties not a sight to behold? Uh, uh, I, let's just leave this. I'm not too bothered about this. Right, we're going... We're, we're almost home. We're halfway there. Uh, Wolfgam. I have an arc. Uh, oh my days, what happened to you? He's severely injured. Oh, oh dear. Oh, the poor lad. Uh, I would gift you. A lucky rabbit paw. Mavis, heal you. And bring you good fortune, my son. Ruling is not easy. As I'm sure you have learned. I've noticed that Pierce avoids me more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we are invited to a feast. And consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of friendships, but that attitude is starting to tie me. Especially when I overhear him defaming me. Jacob is a contemptuous bumper. I'd be a way better lord than him. Oh, really? Fight me! And there we go. We win the fight against him. And make him leave. I will not be slandered. Amongst my own courtiers. It will not stand for it. The afternoon is quickly advancing into nightfall as we enter the local farm estates of Winespring. The estate owner Gunfall greets us warmly and promises us to host a lavish feast for us. Once the feast starts, we dine on a veritable monaguri of roast animals, stews, soups, bread and the like. In the morning, Gunfall approaches me as I enjoy my breakfast. My lord, hosting such an extravagant syndic as yesterday can be rather expensive. Um... You should pay me for the prestige. You offered to host a feast. Thus, you must pay for it. Look at bloody hell. We just ran so fast. Right, we're almost home. Hopefully, this is the last pop-up. Are you going to be a green or black in House of the Dragon series 2? I'm a green. I support House Targaryen. I support House Targaryen. Maybe we shall meet on the battlefield, Mr. Oates. It will be a good fight. <laughs> uh, it is known that the people of Woodivine seem to be profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head. It is most fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvellous fountain, which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you are to help me in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. Randall was quick to interrupt. Wait, my lord, I know this knight. It's Edgar. Oh, 26 Marshall. Oh, boy. Randall, make him see reason. Tell him to join my court. And he has joined my court. And he shall become my knight. Okay, please. <laughs> Let me arrive home. That was so many pop-ups on the way home. Ah, damn it. There's one more. Uh, an ampath. We'll find another path. We're literally right here. We are literally right here. Pay a ransom. Eh, sure. 10 gold. Thank you very much. Are we home? Oh no, we're over here. The model moved much faster than where we actually were. Interesting. And we've returned home. We have returned home. And now comes the great conversion. That will no doubt cause much chaos in the reach of my lands. My king, Andrew. I wish to join your faith. Oh no. It was so cheap. Because we became his direct vassal for opinion. Oh, crap. Oh, we need another war. Oh, dear. If someone declares war on him, then we can uh, serve on his side and then we can convert for cheaper. Man, why is it so expensive to bloody convert? Ah, next time, next time. Also, Wolfgang, I got some more artifacts for you. Uh, I'm going to send you this. 
Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm not using them. And I will send you the book of Bloomfield that I got from university, my son. Hopefully they aid you. Hopefully they aid you. Right, we got a fabrication going on over here at least. Yeah. Uh, we need another rebellion. Are House Targaryen still a thing over here? They're still a thing. They're still alive, guys. Prince Valar, the bright flame of the crown, the crown lands. He has made many children. Many, many children. Is he keeping the Targaryen marriages up? He is. That's good to see. My son has converted to the Red God. Ah, my son. Please, make me convert. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need to find an educator for Lucy. That's true. Did I find one for Andros? I did, I did. Right. So, Lucy is going for learning. So, if we... Uh, let's see. Let's go people finder. Uh, and we're going to go for learning. Learning. 28. There's no Baratheons here, are there? No. I mean, Lord, my neighbor here. Oh, they are... Fire obsessed. She's got the red hair. Is she? Yeah, she's a holy sister. But I mean, so is she. Ooh. Fire obsessed and holy sister. I wonder. Can I send you Lucy? Oh, Eren? Wait, is Eren not being educated anymore? Right, let's convert to faith. Lucy, you're going to go and serve the Red Priestess. I think she's a Red Priestess. Eren is being educated. No, he's being educated. Okay, I don't know why he showed up in the list. Man. Confusing stuff. Confusing stuff. Uh, let's return back home. To the sensible Jacob. I'll be happy for my courtier, Orlantia, to educate Lucy. Excellent stuff. Can I convince her to join my court? I cannot. Minus 25. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any way. Because they can't marry either, so we can't get them in with uh, marriage. Wait, why Why is Eren a gambler? No idea. <laughs> but he's a gambler. He will act towards... Oh, it doesn't tell us. Uh, this character is somewhat bold and is more likely to declare war on rulers close to their strength. Basically is all it means. Flores has been devastated ever since her husband Mervyn died. She comes to visit me one evening. No! My wife is my soulmate. My aunt as well. No, 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 no. Pull yourself together, my aunt. Come on. What would your husband think? What would he think? I already have a wife. I already have a soulmate. Ah, is there any way we can engineer a war here? I mean, succession would probably cause a war. How old are you? 61. Your health is poor. I stumbled upon my vassal, Lord Sanyard, crouched beside my dog. Uh, the dog of yours is quite the charm, my lord. Uh, she is a good girl, isn't she? There we go. Gained opinion of me. Very nice. Should we... Let's max out the, the siege equipment while we have a bit, a bit of spare gold. And we'll get some more pikemen as well. There we go. The army's looking strong. My knights have qualified for a grand tournament. That's also looking rather favourable. Uh, we're down to 13 gold per month. So we need to spend some gold now on buildings. We could also do a grand tour. Uh, the problem with that, I think it's going to be very expensive. Let's take a look at this. So if we go... Let's say we go this way. Um, can I even meet all of these? I can't. Uh, and if we do something like this... Ah, prestige gain I don't really care about. Oh, it increases the starting success, so I do. 457. Okay, we need a lot of gold to do a grand tour. So we'll wait for that. We shall wait. About 500 gold. To the handsome Jacob. Your daughter Lucy has arrived safely in Bearstone. And I shall begin her lessons forthwith. Very good. She will be educated by a red priestess. Very nice. My ward Dermot has been impressed with one of the household guard knights for a very long time. After finally meeting him personally, he's been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when he does. He has become patient. I do not like to reach. Hmm. I could claim his title. I cannot, because I do not own 51% of the counties. <laughs> oh, that's going to be uh, an almost impossible task. <laughs> We're going to be here for 10 years. My wife is pregnant once more. Very nice. Ah, I really wish there was a war. It's not going to happen, though. We are fabricating our own stuff. So at least we, we have this going on. We can still make progress. As I make my way to the stables, I am greeted by the happy neighs of God's grief. He seems very eager to stretch his legs in the beautiful weather. And I could do nothing but agree. Diligent training. We gain more prowess. 
I must take this every moment to practice. Yes, we should. I want to become as strong as possible. 41 prowess. Look at that. Also, our stats are so well-rounded. It's insane. Lord Malin has been swayed as well. Very nice. Very nice. We are in a little bit of a, a peaceful time now. More excommunications. <laughs> oh, dear. Our prayers were answered. The Lord of Light was listening. My liege. I will join you. In the peasant revolt. Can I can I offer to join? Offer to join war. Let us join Andrew. Ah, but it's not gonna make him Oh it doesn't help though. It doesn't help. Yeah, it doesn't help because it's not a proper war. Ah uh, yeah, it just peasants doesn't matter. Okay. I can pay homage to my leech. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I can pardon my courtier Sarah. What does she do? She... Possible punishments. She is a known criminal. Uh, ah, fornicator. It lists it right there. I'm gonna pardon her. I don't care about the face of seven anymore. Uh, naval speed. Siege weapon effectiveness is a nice one. That's gonna make fighting much, much easier. Also, our gold income just shot up again. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude. We're making so much money. And our fabrication... Will be complete. Lord of Light, if you hear me, please. Give me a claim on the duchy. And we have had another daughter. You guys know the drill. Oh, she they're all turning out pretty. Look at this. First name and education focus. Gets to name her. Egg and intrigue. Okay. We're going with egg. That's not how you spell egg. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Welcome to the world. You're born into a great dynasty. Uh, we'll go with intrigue. Uh, and then we need to find someone to educate you as well. Whoa, Elena. Very, very strong. You are part of House Lannister. Should we send her to the Lannistersville? He is intelligent. Lord Benjamin. You also serve the Lord of Lights. Would you be interested in educating my daughter, Egg? Let's convert the faith. Did I convert the faith for Lucy? Oh, do you guys remember? Oh, I might have forgot. Uh, hopefully I didn't. Okay. Um, Wolfgang, can I squire you yet? Crap. Because he's landed, I don't think it's possible, maybe. Or maybe he's not old enough. Excellent stuff. Okay, that's done. Aegon V will be proud. His legacy is going on. True, true. Oh, my caravan master died. Guys. The Lord of Light is rewarding our loyalty. To the sensible Jacob. I am proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Okart. Indeed, I could even argue that you are the rightful lord of the high lordship of the Ocean Road. All of the Ocean Road will be mine. Oh crap, I hit the mic. <laughs> we will convert everyone to the Lord of Light in the Reach. Okay, we need somewhere with good supply. 17,000, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Do they have good allies? They have no allies. They have some men at arms though. I might call on my own allies just to make it a bit easier. A uh, protector of the hills also needs a successor. Ormond, you're going to be my successor for this. Thank you very much. Also, we're at rank 4 for this one now. Very nice. Um, I'm just going to ignore this. I'm not paying homage to him. I don't like the boy. I don't like the boy. I don't like him at all. Oh, one-legged nine-year-old. That's who I'm declaring war on now. <laughs> Lads, follow me. I have not led you into a loss yet. We have won every war that we have fought in. And we will win again. Who should I call on? Should I call on the phrase? Do you know what? I think maybe we call on the phrase. Why not? Let us join. Let us... Let them join in our victory. I don't think... House Beesbury as well. Let them join in our victory. And my sister... In Dawn. Come... Join me. There is much valor to be had today. I will lead the men, of course. I will lead the men. I will show them the way. We're going to go straight for the capital. What's the fort level here? 18. Oh. That's going to take a long time to siege, I think. <laughs> um, actually, what I might do... Because of attrition, let's just slowly make our way there. Uh, these guys are all going to join us as well. So when they arrive, we're going to have plenty of reinforcements. My sister is joining the war as well. Very nice, very nice. Well, I was shocked when I caught my war. Dermot trying to steal from the travel chest of visiting Lady Evelyn. He gave me an impressive speech on how I now understood what 
uh, he had done was wrong. He's become humble. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, uncheck this. My daughter Egg has safely arrived in the Westerlands and shall begin her lessons forthwith. Very good. Egg, pay attention to your, your guardian. 20 days to siege. That's mental. <laughs> uh, the AI doesn't know what they're doing either. Seven gold, a prisoner. Lord Edric, I will send you home if you can pay. Let's take this as well. Fort level three. Oh, the fort level is just so low over here. I need to get my fort level up. I might replace that building with a fort level building, actually. Because I really don't want to lose my my capital. Skull goblets. Um, Wolfgang. Here you go, my son. A skull goblet. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Prisoners can be ransomed. Very nice. Let us continue our way towards the capital. We will keep on going west. Uh, I can ransom some more. Uh, I'm going to go down to three times speed as well. Just so we don't miss anything. Where's that army? Okay, they are sieging. Three months for this one. My allies might be able to deal with them though. Hopefully my allies deal with them. Otherwise we could go over and fight them. Um, do you know what? I might actually go ahead and deal with them myself. I really don't want to lose castles. I mean, it's not my castle, though. True, 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 true. But I must protect my vassals. Let's just go and fight the army on the battlefield. We should crush them. Do I have any allies nearby? I do. They're coming from the south. We, the Freys are coming from the west. They have sailed all this way to fight with us. Our great houses united through marriage. Ah, that's the peasant war. I was going to say, why is it over already? And there we go. He's abandoned the siege. Maybe we can catch him before he crosses the river. Ah, I thought we were going to do it. I thought we were going to do it. Uh, where are my allies? I, w I really want to catch up to this army. Okay, they've stopped in the way. Very nice. Let's ransom some more of these. The Battle of Par Clay. Pale Clay is underway. Only six banner advantage. Well, uh, our knight, Lord Leo. My uncle. He died. He was slain in battle. My cousin, Lord Jeffrey, has now taken over his lands. He doesn't like me. But I do have a strong hook on him. That I do, that I do. In fact, I could even demand an artifact. But his contract is already so good. His contract is already too good. What artifacts do you have? The prize necklace. Maybe I could take this. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Well, I could keep the hook. If I keep the hook, he can't join factions, right? That's true. That's true. Uh, what I do need now, though, is a new steward. Lord Dunk, you're my castellan. I will convert you. You will become my steward. You have served me loyally as a castellan. Uh, and now I need a new castellan. Do I have any powerful vassals here? Uh... Lord Jeffrey, my cousin. They're not powerful vassals. Okay. Master Renly! You're a great knight. You will now become my castellan and advisor. There we go. Let's increase the taxes. Thank you very much. There we are. Our allies have arrived to assist us in the battle. I'm sitting around the map table of Lord Argamor and Lord Anson discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Argamor eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage. While well, Anton explains how we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly, it is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. My men! My men! I am a great general! I know how we can employ both strategies. Do not fret. Let us completely destroy them. We can use both. Lord Leo was slain in the battle. We've already seen that one. Okay, Jeffrey's contract. What should I do here? Coinage, right? Development growth... Uh... None of these are good. I mean, I could increase his levies, but we don't really care about levies, do we? I might just keep the hook. Maybe it comes uh, into play in future at some point. Let's see. 600 to 4,000. Too easy. Too easy. We did lose my uncle, but that's okay. My uncle was a, a troubling man. He rebelled against us. There's no love lost between us. He is not my favorite family member. Dunk. Once we, we convinced Dunk to like us. You know, Dunk caused us no problems, but Leo... He wasn't quite the same, was he? Faction disbanded. Okay, that one's gone. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we can rent some more of you. We're 82% war score. We're not even going to reach the capital. <laughs> uh, which, to be honest, will probably take us a long time to siege anyway. My prisoner Roland has died in my dungeons. 
Let us ransom the last prisoner now. I am out riding my dog, Margate, beside me when she suddenly runs off into the forest. My retinue assures me she will come back, but what if she doesn't? I will be patient. I'm, I'm in a siege. We can't afford to run off now. I must rule them, uh, lead the men. Oh, look at that. Our allies destroying them. My sister leading the men to victory. No matter how long I wait, Margate does not return. Just as I'm about to leave, my friend Lord Mark appears out of nowhere. Margate in tow. My friend, I do believe you lost someone. Ah, look at that. The phrase, much respect between us. We are friends as well. Let's ransom you. Very nice. Uh, will this win us the war? Probably not. Okay, it won us the war. <laughs> Let us enforce the demands. More territory is now ours. Oh, it's becoming huge. Look at this. If we take the shield islands as well. To my need, your ruthlessness is enviable. You are a much greater foe than I imagine. In order to pull an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with demands. So be it. So be it, my lads. And look at that. House Brightwater grows ever bigger. Uh, Bloomfield, sorry. But the Lordship of Brightwater. It might be the biggest domain. Old Town is big, but I think we're bigger. I think we're bigger. Evelyn has discovered the spy. Jafer was caught searching for secrets. Throw him in the dungeons. He must roll in yourself. Throw him in the dungeons. Okay, we got another faction here. Yeah, because we just conquered these guys. Uh, that's going to be a bit problematic, but that's fine. Let's ransom you. Yeah, a grand tournament. We're not going to go to that right now. Did I start fabricating already? I have not. Okay, let's start fabricating over here. Uh, when we convert to the Lord of Light, we won't be able to ask for claims anymore, will we? Because there's no head of faith. And like one of you said, there's going to be no pilgrimages anymore either. But we will convert. What we really need now is a, a war against Andrew. Hmm, I do under 63... Health is poor and ailing. When he dies... Ah, my neighbor, Prince Harris. He's... He is not married off now. Prince Harris... Will take over. He likes me. He likes me. 19 opinion. Maybe there'll be wars against him and we can come to his side and hopefully convert to the Lord of Light. Wait, Wolfgang, can you... I can't squire you. Ah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Erin, how about you? I think you have to be eight. All right, let's speed things up a bit. We need 500 gold for the Grand Tour as well, which, let's not forget, we must do this. I think we can do that today. But times are quite peaceful now. How old are we? We're only 33. My wife is 29. We've already had six children. We did have... Uh, but one of them died. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, dear. Should we look at some marriages, maybe? Erin could marry. Let's see. Alliance power. We have a Baratheon here, but she's 27. That's unfortunate. Yeah, 27. Mm, Lucy? What about Lucy? Maybe there's some younger men. Ah, no, no Baratheons. I could marry Lucy to my vassal here. Would that give us an alliance? It would. But he's not He's not actually in this faction. So let's not do that right now. We'll, we'll save the children. I don't want to marry them off yet. We'll save them. When they come of age, we'll find someone. To the Lord Jacob of Brightwater. I write into all the lords of Westeros to let them know the truth that has been hidden for far too long. Despite what you may have thought, Corella and Prince Harris of Mandeside. They ask that you and the rest of the realm recognize this new reality and the implications it brings. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. What happens? Corella? Wait, you do have children. Wait, are they your... Oh, they're your bastards. He has to bastard children. Disputed heritage. Ah... Granddaughters. Maybe I could marry one of my younger sons to these. That's how we get the alliance. Well, that is certainly interesting. Indeed, that is. I wonder. Uh, granddaughter of King Andrew. Can I arrange a marriage between you and... Uh, it'll probably be Andros or Egg. Maybe they would accept. Um, Egg is here. Egg is a closer age. Ah, oh, they will not accept. Why not? Why not? That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, damn it. Do I have to go... Wait, why am I up here? 
<laughs> Why am I up here? Where is my neighbor? He's like over here somewhere. There he is. He's a man the side. To a Lord Jake, Corona has been summoned to be imprisoned until such a time the heritage is doing not to be a threat to the realm. Wait, Andrew imprisoned her? <laughs> Wait, so Corella has been imprisoned. She's sickly now as well. But she's not... Okay, you're up north beyond the wall for some reason. So are you. Is that why we can't marry them? I think they're out of range. Why are his children north of the wall? Something very confusing is happening here. I, I, I don't quite understand what. I really don't understand what. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Right, can we afford the Grand Tour now? If we do a Grand Tour... That's Grand Tournament. Grand Tour. Let's do Taxation Tour here. Now, I want to visit all of these vassals, because these vassals are loyal to me. So let's do something like this. And I think we can have 10 vassals, right? So I want to visit you as well. Let's go here. And then we're going to go like here, 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 here. We're, we're going to visit them. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and I think I'm going to go... Let's see, 92 is fine. You don't like me too much. Let's increase your opinion. We'll increase your opinion. Uh, these opinions could be higher. And your opinion. Let us do this. In fact, no, 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 no. Let's stop this. If I go to all of these guys, and they refuse me at the gates, I can revoke their titles, right? So I think that might be better. Because we just recently conquered all of these. So let's see. Who likes me the least? So we'll go here. We'll go here, because you don't like me much. We'll go here. Uh, let's go here. We'll go to you. Let's see. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go to three more. Okay, so considering we're already over here, let's go one, two, three. There we go. And we're going to go with opinion for all of those. Very nice, very nice. Uh, opinion. And we'll go for opinion here as well. Why not? Cannot pick any more of this phase. Uh, but it's fine though, right? I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's max this out as well. Oh, it's even more expensive now. 559. Damn it. <laughs> the price has gone up. The price has gone up. Who's their mum? I'm, I'm not sure. Let us check that. Let us check that. So your mother is Caron Roxton of House Roxton. She is. Why is she up here? I have no idea. No idea. She's not excommunicate. She's an adulterer. Maybe she ran away. And then this one's... Yeah, they both have the same mother. Your husband's not a wildling either. And he's a knight. Very interesting stuff, guys. Very interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Not quite sure indeed. Right, 63 years old. I think, do you know what we're going to do? His health is poor and ailing. Next stream, we're going to start with the Grand Tour. We're going to make a lot of gold. But I think that's a good place to leave it for today. We've gained much territory. We gained three new duchies, I think. We've got the High Lordship of the Ocean Road. We've got the High Lordship of Darkdown. Uh, just the two, just the two. Uh, next stream, we'll try and get the Shield Islands. Maybe a little bit more. And hopefully, Andrew or his son will go to war. And then when we join them, we can convert to the Red God. Unfortunately, we can't do it now. Yeah, 20,000. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, maybe there's no one in my court, is there? Let's see, my courtiers. Can I search by uh, the Red God here? Yeah, I have no one in the Red God in my court. I wonder, though. Hmm. If I go unmarried... Can I find you a wife and then we convert that way? Maybe it'll be cheaper if they're actually in my court. Let's see. You're you're beautiful. Let's marry you off. I'm just going to test this before I end the stream. Before I end the stream. Maybe it'll be cheaper. I'm not quite sure. Also, the music is so good. Okay, well, you've accepted this. Now, if I can find her... Um... Let's see. Can I now adopt your faith? Oh, I can't adopt her faith anyway. Okay, right. That's going to be it for today, guys. I think that's been a fun one. We expanded our territory. We fought in a great war. We defended the King Stannis, who sadly passed away shortly after. I have had many children, 
Many sons. My wife became a soulmate. We got married to the phrase. We are friends with the phrase even. Much, much happened today. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.